Hi everyone, I'm Brendan. And I'm Karen. And together we're Fox and Rabbit. We're filming this floss tube number 40. Yes. Um, Better late than never. On Saturday the 13th of April. 2024. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one of the year. Uh, what's it been, four months? Three months, I think. Since four months. months. It was December when we did it, but. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, that's pretty slack of you. Yeah. Very. Everyone, we have been getting many, many messages. Are we ever going to film again? I said, we will. We just haven't had time. It's been crazy busy. Hasn't it, Bren? You've been lazy. That's I why. haven't been lazy. Yeah, no, we've just had, we just, we've just, oh, from the end of last year, I can't believe it's midway through April already. Can you? Mm. Um, we've just been, January is just a blur. I think we're, we're getting so much fabric dyed for things like that homespun exclusive clubs and market and shop orders. And we literally turned around, it was February, and then we had to get all of our market dyeing done, which we did. And, um, yeah, and then I don't I don't know where the rest of March went and suddenly we're halfway through April. So, yeah, peaches. You just have to take that one step too far, Can you just put her down, Brendan? Peaches, go need, down, please. I don't need my nose cleaned. Yeah, so um, so much has happened. Like, I mean, I, I don't even know how to catch up between when we last filmed and now. So, like, we're going to just miss things. We're going to have to just sort of start from scratch, I think, with, with things that are happening now. Market was um, a huge, huge success. Um, best market we've ever had. Hi, Peachy. Um, we literally sold out of, what was it, Brent? 750 yards of linen in less than two hours, I think, on the Friday night. Yeah. All of our charts sold out, everything. We were just amazed. The good news is that we've worked out uh, a way now to get twice as much stock, stock at least to market next year without having to mortgage our house to DHL to do it. So... We'll start shipping stuff over to a friend who's going to put it in a storage unit, which is all climate controlled, uh, and we'll and it's in Nashville. So we're going to start shipping things over to him from about December, aren't we, Brent? So that way we can take a lot more a lot more linen, so people don't miss out. But as a consequence, because we sold out of everything, um, we didn't want to disappoint the shops. So what we told them was that when we got home, we would spend the next few weeks just dyeing the two new colours um, from market and and get those out to everybody who missed out, which is basically what we've been doing for the last yep. three weeks or so. So it's um it's going to be winging their way to everyone next week. Yeah, we're not a lot about to go out next week. Yep. And there's a third lot. Once people pay, we'll... Yep, we'll ship that out as well. We'll ship the third lot out. You cannot see around our studio at the moment for Dust Bunny and Inca. That's all. all you can see is mountains and mountains of, of linen. It's uh, But it's good. It'll all be um, shipped next week. I think, so, I think there's 800 yards on the table yeah, at the moment. I think we've we've had to dye more than we actually took to market just to make up for the ones that for the people that missed out. So I think we're going to try for about 2,000, 2,500 yards next, next year. No, we're not. Yes, we are. We're you not. all you promise people that next year, Brendan. Not that much. Anyway. That won't fit in the room. Whatever. We'll see. But we're gonna be taking hopefully nobody will be disappointed. We'll have to you. hire a second room if you want that to sleep I in. Know. Because... I know. <laughs> yeah, no and also charts. We'll take a lot more charts too. So Yeah, so that was all very good. It was great catching up with all of our friends. It feels like a million years ago market now, and I'm I'm sure everyone's heard about all the market stories and everything. We uh we after market we went up to um keepsakes in Cincinnati, Ohio for a meet and greet, which was a stack of fun. It was so much fun. We had people come from a long way. We had one lady come from Canada, which we'll show you something she gave us later. And um it was just a really fun day. We got there in the afternoon, stayed till about I don't know, it was almost nine thirty or something that night. So that was lovely. On the way up, we called in at Kentucky to see Roxanne and Rich from R&R &R Woodworks Kentucky. We had a fabulous day with them. Yeah. And we'll show you some of the goodies they gave us um, there when we get to that part. And, yeah, we just had a lovely time. And after we left, we had a couple of days with Liz, um, Wandering wandering Stitcher on on, um, on Instagram. And, and, Rachel. and Rachel from Needle and Flax. And we spent two days going to dinners and breakfasts and lunch and – Antique malls and just laughing and laughing and laughing for two, almost three days. It was hilarious. It was so much fun. 
I, we feel like we've known them forever, don't we, Brent? It's just, you know, you, we only met them, what, September last year. Yeah. And it honestly feels like they've been friends for like 20 years. It's it's, And you just know that they're kind of friendships that are going to last a long time when you when 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 you make good friends like that so and then we went we traveled home via st louis and went to color and cotton had a ball there visiting their shop because we'd only been to their studio before their dying studio the only thing is by the time we got there we were starting to hear stories about some designers uh coming down with covid from market so we we sort of said we didn't want anyone to think we we're rude but we said please don't don't come near us just in case we were feeling fine by that point but I went back the next morning to pick up a few more cottons because I just couldn't not go back there for one more visit. And by that stage, Brendan started getting a sore throat. So he stayed in the car and I thought, oh, no. And then so we went and got a test. And guess what? We've never had it before. and We've avoided it for four years. And this one tested positive. So, so um, and you started getting pretty sick that day, little, you know, and yeah. so what we ended up doing, rather than doing the trip down that we had planned back down to Dallas, we just parked ourselves in Kansas City, which was not a bad place to be parked, for four days. You stayed in bed. I was still negative, so I was out doing lots of things on my own, which felt very weird. I've never driven on my own in the States or gone out on my own in the States, so that was all a little bit, um, bit confronting, but it was fun. And then, and I was really worried about getting it because I drive. So I was worried that I was going to get it on our drive back down to Dallas, wasn't I? But I was still fine by the time we left there. And I didn't test positive until we got home. So that was lucky. But then, yeah, so I got it as well. Not the worst thing in the world I've ever had. You were, you were a bit sicker than I was, but um, it was okay. It was all, yeah, it was we what lucky. it was. We, we were probably lucky. A lot of people get it a lot worse than we did. So, um, yeah, but it was a it was a fabulous trip. A bit shorter than normal because we've got a lot on this year. We're going to be away a lot. So we, we've got to be mindful of our dog sitters, um, not being away from home too much. But that was lovely. And we also were um, very aware of the fact that we had to get home and get a lot of dying done for those shops that missed out. So, But it was a good trip. Wasn't it? We got upgraded on our way home, which was very, very – um, very wonderful given the fact that we had our flight cancelled going over and had no end of dramas which we won't even get into now but thank you Qantas that was delightful um, that's yeah so that's about and that was a sarcastic thank you yes it was very realize. sarcastic thank you to Qantas um, we've never had we've never experienced anything like that in our life that was just beyond beyond ridiculous but anyway um, that, so that's about what we've done since we've, we're a bit rusty at this. So I don't even feel like I know what we're doing. Um, yeah. So then we got home. We've pretty much been working. Uh, I was about to do a, we were about to film a Foss tube. When was it? Brennan was in, was it, it was before market, but I can't, it was before market, but I actually, we went and got our skin checkups done. I think it was in January and. I had a little uh, carcinoma thing on the edge of my nose, which was fine, but it had to be taken off surgically. So I had sort of like, you can barely see it now, thankfully, Do you? Well, a little bit. But I had like a, a big long line of black stitches right down my nose. I looked like Frankenstein. It was just, and my friend Sandy, the friend that Brent and I met at Hobby House Retreat last year, she was over here in Australia and we had been going to meet up with her and honestly, I couldn't walk out of the house looking like I really looked and I felt miserable. And oh, it was just really awful having a friend from the States just an hour down the road and not be able to see them. But um, but we'll catch up with her in, in when we come back over the States. So, yeah. And she gave she sent a lovely gift that she was going to give me when I was due to meet her here. A friend brought it to market and, she, and I'll show you that later. So, yeah. So that was, yeah, I wasn't going to, we weren't going to film a floss tube when I, when I looked like that. I couldn't even disguise it, could I, Brent? I said, why do they have to make the stitches black, you know, rather than skin tone? I guess it was so that I can see it better when they snip them out. But that was all clear. They all got, that all got fixed. No problem. So we get regular skin checkups living in Australia. You and, and Brennan had a little tiny skin thing frozen off the side of his face, which was the first time ever, and you you were very upset about that, weren't you, Brenda? It hurt. Mm. Just because you had like 18 I, off you. That's right. I had them all over my arms, 
as I said, all pre pre cancer things, but still, it's it's good to get it all checked up. So, yeah. So that was it. And what else, Brett? What else has been happening? Not much. I've had my my six month knee checkup. It's all good since my knee replacement. Getting better every day. So my um my my surgeon doesn't need to see me anymore. He just said it's just to keep on healing now. And you've got this. Yeah. Exercise well, bike. Bought an exercise bike to have at home because both my both my physio and my surgeon said the best exercise I can do for my knee and won't hurt Brendan either is to uh, be on a what do you call it a exercise exercise bike. bike. So yeah. Got to try and work out how to get it out of the now box. Brendan's got to put it together. Yeah, I've actually we I bought it yesterday. I got a massive great deal because I had to go down and see my surgeon yesterday, and. Um, I bought it because it was literally 60%, 60 off. off this because it was the last one in stock. So it was below cost. And I thought, oh, well, that's crazy, ridiculous, it's cheap. So, but the lady there said, look, the only thing is I can, I can get it out to your car on a trolley, but I can't help you lift it into the car by law or something. And the two big burly guys wouldn't help me either. So she just left me with it at the, the car and I had to get 51 kilos with a box, which is also about the same height as me. That's what, Because Brenda was still up here dying and stuff um, yesterday. Yeah. What was it? How about much? 110 pounds. About 110 pounds into the back of our SUV. And I managed to do it, but I've actually really hurt my finger. But um, but now, and Brenda and I were barely able to get it out of the car together. We just got it in the house. That's how heavy it is. And I had to get it on my own into the car. But now Brent's got to work out how to put it together. So that's going to be fun tonight. So there'll be lots of swearing. There will. I've got to get it out, work out how to get it out of the box first. <laughs> it's been a long day, though. Actually, speaking of days today, we actually feel like we've been talking all day. We got up this morning to do Friday with Friends with our, with our wonderful friend Liz, the Wandering Stitcher. Um and we did that, we talked on that live on Instagram for like two hours. You can catch that on, uh, it's um, at The Wandering Stitcher in her reels. She has interviews. There's lots of them. There's Rachel from Lindel and Flax, Tanya from Scarlet House, Brenda and Laura separately, Pam and Steph. There's a lot of them. So you can go back and actually watch them on replay. And they're a, they're a ton of fun when you watch them. I hope ours was, I hope people enjoyed ours. But we talked for two hours, and then as soon as that was finished, we then FaceTimed with Liz for another hour and a half. Yeah. So, and then we thought, right, we went and grabbed lunch, and then we thought, right, we have got to film this whilst you ball. There's just no time in the next week if we don't do it today. So, Brent and I feel like we've been talking since dawn. So, yeah. So, what else, Brent? What's next on your list? Well, I've forgotten how we even do this. Stitching. Stitching. Well, I've only done one thing. My thing is where we're teaching at the Stitches Merchant Retreat at the end of May. So I'm um, madly trying to finish the model, which I'm extremely happy with, but I can't show you yet. I will show you um, what those projects are as soon as the retreat's over because it is a surprise for the attendees that weekend. In fact, Tam hasn't even seen the design. The um, Who the owns shop. She's the shop owner. Um but yes, but I am in a round robin with my friends um, in the States, Sarah, Julie, and oh my gosh. Liz. No, no, no. No, Liz is not doing this. Oh no. my gosh, I've completely forgotten. It's a it's Julie's friend and I can't um, she's a, she's my friend too, and I can't think I've completely blanked. I've completely blanked. And I'm gonna have to look because that's going to do my head in. Just give me two seconds. Isn't it terrible? Oh, my gosh. On top of it too, Amy, it? Amy. Oh, my gosh, Amy. I'm so sorry. I completely blanked. Mine, I pass mine on to Amy, but I'm sending it to my friend Julie because I've got some stuff um, to send her and she's going to give it to Amy. But I think Sarah passes it to me. I pass it to Amy. Amy passes it to Julie. Julie passes hers to, to Sarah. Um, it's a it's the uh, great round, ink circles round robin that was the brainchild of Michelle Garrett from Bendy Stitchy. I did one with my friends here in Australia, and we're about to do our second one. This is the first one with my American friends. The idea, and I'm sure you've all seen this, but the idea is to take a Mandela. I've chosen, in this case, I've chosen Reflect by Ink Circles, Reflections of Amsterdam, and the idea is that you stitch one quarter of it 
and then each of the friends does the other quadrant. That way you're only stitching it once rather than four times. And so, um, and I chose um, Reflections of Amsterdam because Brent and I will be in Amsterdam in uh, June. So um, I picked up this beautiful one. It's called, it's by um, Valdani Threads and it's called Mint Julep. And I've done it on Rachel from Linden and Flax uh, Dirty Teacup. And I've just finished my quarter. Well, I finished it a couple of weeks ago. I was hoping to, because Sarah gave me her, her stitched one at market. I just couldn't finish it in time. And I was hoping to get that one finished as well so I could send both to Julie. Um, but I just haven't had time having to get that model stitched. So I'll send this all off to Julie on Monday to hand over to Amy. So that's, that's the only stitching I've done, but I have been stitching day and night on this model, uh, which, as I said, I can show you at the end of May. There's so much I want to, to do, though. I want to do... I want to, to catch up on the on Teresa Kogut's Patreon Level 4 Mystery. It's a two-year stitch along, so it doesn't matter. I don't think that I get a little bit behind because I think I can catch up fairly quick. The, the parts each month are quite small. And I also want to start the um, the new Lola, Crow, um, Lola Crow's uh, ha uh, Haunted... I suppose that's more in plans, isn't it, Brent? Haunted Aquarium sale. So, but yeah, I've had um, nothing but model stitching, and you just simply haven't had time. Oh. Brent's getting home of a day, and his hands are, are very sore from all the dyeing. They're just too cramped, aren't they, Bob? Mm -hmm. Is that your excuse? That's my excuse for being lazy. For being lazy? No. That's, so that's, yeah, so that's unfortunately not much on the stitching front. Hopefully, we'll have more to show you in the next video. Next, baby. What you bought? What have you bought? You want to show first? first? You're going first? You'll be forever. Okay. You got, oh, I forgot my thing from Heartstring. You've got three months worth of... Oh, I have to go out and get that in a minute. You've got three months worth of stuff to show. I know. I can't get out to show it, so... I've only bought a couple of books. Mm-hmm. So this is the first one um, that I bought, uh, which is a, an amazing book. I don't know if I can show any of the things... Perfect one to open out. Mm -hmm. Which is just um or stitching of animals. Who is that? Chloe, Chloe Giordano. Yeah. So it's just beautiful. It's got a whole bunch of projects in here. There's little It's like thread painting, isn't it? Yeah. There's little deers, there's rabbits. Oh I love the rabbit on the back. There's foxes, there's all little woodland creatures. It's in a, a pretty amazing book. One day I'll be able to do something in it. Mm -hmm. You make me a rabbit. Yeah, not going to happen. <gasps> Look at that one. Um, and the other book I bought was more a reference book. Um, it's all about um, a gold work piece of embroidery and altar cloth. Um, it's got a, I don't know if there's... I should have marked a page. I should have no, prepared, it, would have, been, it would have been something you could have done. <laughs> I don't know if it's got a picture of the whole cloth in here. Probably in the front, isn't it? Oh, yeah. wow. Better you'd be able to see that or not, Bob. Yeah. So the whole book is is breaking down. I don't know if you can see it, this altar cloth. So it's done over a few hundred pages. That's just a reference book, isn't it? Yeah, it breaks down how the whole thing was stitched and wow. how it was done and why it was done. It's a pretty amazing book. So it goes through piece by piece and... And shows you close-ups of the embroidery and talks about how it was done. And a bit of light reading for you. Yeah, one day. That's, <laughs> that's on my one day to read list. <laughs> yeah. Probably when I retire, that one. Yep. But I got it while it's still in print because yeah. I think it was a really limited print run. Brent's got a lot of books that he's actually bought over the years that are now, you know, either out of print or they're so limited they're worth a fortune. Those good filler books, volume one and two, the fellows collection. I've got a lot. One of, and two and things like that, that you bought money, a long yeah. time ago. And um, yeah, that's my retirement. Time. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, is that all your purchases, baby? Yep. Well, you bought a light as well, a light with a magnifier. Well, you bought me that. I did, but it's still for you. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> well, technically, I did. I guess. Oh my gosh, I've got so much. Look, I mean, I don't even know. Like, I mean, there's obviously a lot more. I think we both bought more since the last video, but 
I just thought I'd go through all my market purchases that I either purchased or some of the designers uh, gifted to us. Um, the only thing is, I guess, I guess I'm always like this because everyone has has seen a lot of the market releases by now. But still, they're still ours, I guess. Uh, things that we've gotten, as I said, gotten or been given. Um, the good thing about market, a lot of designers are friends and swap. You know, so we swap each other's charts and things like that. Or I've bought them at shops on our travels. I got a couple of these at the Cool Garden. I had to drop some linen down to them yesterday. Um, so I picked up a couple of things as well. So in no particular order, this is Anna Marie's Pocket by la -dee -da. Yeah, I know. I'll tell you why in a second. By la -dee -da. These were both from the Cruel Goblin. Because um, Laurie wasn't at market. Technically, these are her market releases, but I guess they were released at the same time. But she, unfortunately, wasn't there this year. One Stitch at a Time by Lady Da. I love Laurie's. I love Laurie's designs. Um, okay, and again, in no, oh, this one, I didn't get this one off um, Stacey at Market. I don't know why, but the thing about Market this year, we didn't really get to anyone's rooms. It was... Well, I didn't. I well, didn't, I didn't you didn't get to though. anyone's. No, I know. And yeah. a big thank you to our friend Noah and his mum, Charity, who's also our friend, um, for being amazing helpers for us at Market. They got to everywhere. Yeah, they had a good time. <laughs> they had a good time. Um, this is a little bit an older one, but I hadn't gotten it before. Everyone's stitching this at the moment. It's called Tis Spring by With the Needle and Thread. I'm actually a bit jealous of them. Yeah, we were, weren't we? We were because generally the helpers get to go around sort of towards the end of the show and stuff, whatever, and, and get things that they want to get as well. And uh, a lot of um, a lot of nearly every designer has helpers come and help them. And we couldn't have done it without them. Honestly, that Friday night, the queue out our door went for like two and a half, three hours or something. We couldn't have done it if it wasn't for the two of them. But they got to go and do a bit of shopping and see things that Brent and I didn't even get to see. I love this one. This is by Cardin Antiques and Needlework. This is Anne Newton, 1838. I love that. Now, I got this from uh, the Cruel Garden yesterday too. I think it's Stacey Nash. I don't think it's Heartstrings. No, it was Stacey Nash because it's got chicken on it. It's a little um, thread thread keeper. Uh, this is not a market release. This is one I actually downloaded the other day. It, oh, I can never pronounce this. It's Stichtin von der Weinberg or Weinberg or something. I don't know, but it's called the Rose Quaker. I saw somebody online doing this one. So I um I bought that one. That was a PDF, and also I missed this at uh, Market Two. So I, um Izzy's now got this on her Primitive Hair website. It's called It's Not Hoarding If It's Cross Stitch. I think a lot of people are stitching this. I was watching the attic, the attic's floss tube the other day with Caroline and and all of them do it, showing their stitching, and a couple of the ladies there are stitching that one. I think on fifty six count with a few different um, choices of um. Of um, silk. Oops. Okay. These were from Beth. Beth gave me these. This is sweet. Oh, sorry. Um, home heartstring sample. Sweet Melissa Biscornu. Now I loved her scary sampler, and I, it, it's in my list of things to do. But this is sort of like the summary version this year. This is because I think scary sampler was last year's release. This is scenic sampler. So people will recognise the sort of look of it, but it's a it's a much more summery spring version of the Halloween darker version. This one I loved, My Scissors, My Rules. Now the one room I did spend some time in, not necessarily in town, I just happened, I think I thought, oh, well, I'll start to have a look at some things on the Sunday when it was really quiet. And... Um, I end up getting caught, I'm not caught, but I end up having a, a lovely time in Fern Ridge Collections room, and I must have been in there for about an hour. Unfortunately, the couple of kits that I really liked, I know, you, were sold out. You waited until I'd packed everything up. No, before. that was that was because I was in Week Style Works room. Okay. Think, yeah, yeah. Um, but what happened was a couple of times I thought, I'll go out and have a quick look around, then I'll get back and help Brendan out. Um, I just got caught with people, but more in hallways than anything. I didn't even get caught in people's rooms where I could see things. But I really love these and I want to learn how to do them. So I got a, a couple of the newer, the newer kits obviously were sold out, but I don't know how to do this, but they've assured me I can learn. 
These are these little these little needle fob. Not what are they called? Needle, needle. No, what are they though, Brent? It's it's bead weaving or something. So that one. Where's the one I wanted to get? Where's the one I wanted to do for you? I don't know, you never showed it to me. I haven't shown you any of these, I think, I haven't they? I don't know, anything you bought at Mark, you've never showed me any of it. Well, that's because I'm pretty much looking at it for the first time. I think it was underneath here. Wasn't it? Was it? That's the one. That one's called Ollie the Octopus. I thought you'd like that. Look at the little octopus. Mm. Isn't that cute? And this, these things are the sort of things that when you see them in real life, they're so sparkly and pretty. Aren't they nice? Maybe you could do that one yourself, babe. It's just peyote stitches. Yeah. Well, apparently you do it with two needles. I can't remember the lady's name. Who's the designer? I should remember. I was talking to her half, half a half, but um, you do it apparently with two needles. I thought it was like bead weaving, and I've done that on a loom before. It's a similar result, but she said it's just a stitch that you do with two needles, and she's got all the really good instructions in there, and she she assured me it was easy to do. No, it looks easy. Oh, you think? No. No, <laughs> but she told me it is, and I've talked to oh, people. It's got a pattern like a knitting pattern. I know. Oh, I haven't even looked at that, Brendan. You shouldn't have shown me that. Holy! If hell. anyone knows how to do this, please tell us, or if they want to do them for us. Oh, I don't know. She, she the trouble was, um, she was going to actually do me a demonstration, but then other people came in the room, and she just didn't have time, and I had to get back to our room. So I was in there way too long. Yeah, it's peyote stitch. So yeah, that doesn't look complicated, does it? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm hoping there might be a video or something on how to do this because I think it's the sort of thing I think once you master whatever it is, because I know that when you when you do them on the little loom, they're very very easy. And it's, again, it's it's following a pattern. It's a little mermaid bead. It's really cute. It's got an octopus in there too. See the octopus there and the there little is. mermaid. That's why I thought you'd like it because it had a mermaid in there. Mm. Um, and then they had the look, they're beautiful full kits that you buy. And this one's called Odd Rabbit Out, and it goes with the little rabbit um, scissor fob. And it's a beautiful, beautiful needle book. And again, it was there. And when I saw how beautiful it was in real life, this is a cross stitch. So it's a cross stitch that I could easily make into the needle book. So the finishing instructions don't bother me. But this weaving, see, there's two needles in there and the Nymo thread. Yep. Apparently, she said she's having trouble getting the Nymo thread. So that's a big, big thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that was that one. Um, I got the Federal Sampler and Sewing Bag by Stacey Nash. And the reason Brent showed me this, I, um, I picked these up. This was a little freebie that um, Classic Colour Works did. Diane from Little House Needleworks also has Classic Colour Works. So these are the three new release colours, and it just came with a little free pack. So the reason I bought two is, is so I have them for my design. I, I, they would send them to me if I asked, but I just wanted to get them now. So, and usually I like to have two so that if I use one in the design, I've still got another one left. Or if I need two skeins for a particular design, I've got them here rather than have to send to the States for them. And they always come in a little free thing. So those, they're really pretty. It's Misty Mauve, Weather Vane, and London Fog. So they're beautiful. They're very much my colours. So they're very, very pretty. Nice, aren't they? Mm. So that's that. And my lovely, lovely friend Paulette, who when we got to market, we, we caught up with her first. You and I spent, what, about three hours with her while her dad, her sister and her daughter were packing um, pre-orders. Mm. And I think we finished chatting with her just as they all finished. And three of us just sat there chatting for three hours. So she said that was well done. But she gave me her, her, her new releases. We've got a, everyone's, I know everyone's seen this, but American Mermaid, you'd like that one, baby. Uh, this is Stars. So this is the other half to Stripes that um, Shakespeare's Peddler has. This was my favourite. This is Nelson because I love Blue Skin, which was the one that she had out years ago. This apparently is George Washington's other horse. Summer Glory. This goes with the winter one and I think also the autumn one. Uh, and spring beginning, so that completes that um, set of those little um, what do you call it autumn ones, uh, seasonal ones. And this one we love, and I I laugh when she she put the little fox chasing the rabbit. So I said, oh, there's a rabbit on the back too. The rabbit's on the back. I know she's a sweetie. I said, is that brand nine? She said, it's all 
always you and Brendan. Because you'll notice there's quite a few fox and rabbits. There's the, I think the winter moon one has a fox at the bottom of the house with the rabbit on top. This is a, this is beautiful. This is American Welcome. A lot of stitching. Oh, well, it's one of Paulette's big ones. Of course there's a lot of stitching. Look at all that blue. I know. Wow. Well, even the ones in the have, a look at the... have a look at the grass with the fox chasing the rabbit on it. Look at that for some heavy stitching, but stunningly beautiful. She's a bit like me. I can... Because she doesn't stitch her models. It's like it's very easy to design a lot of stitching. I do a lot of houses and stuff too, and it's not until the person who's either... Sti if you're stitching it yourself, you notice, but usually it's the model stitchers who... Uh, Hate you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and this is Proverb, what's this one called? Proverbs 31 Sampler. This one I've seen a lot of people doing as well. Yeah, really, really nice. What other ones have I got here? Okay. And like I said, some of these I picked up at market. Some of them I picked up at places like um, Colour and Cotton or... Um, Keepsakes. Keepsakes. I bought a few things. And then I also, while Brendan was sick in Kansas City, I also called in to uh i made sure i was all negative before i walked in there um quilter station oh my gosh if you're a quilter and you live anywhere near kansas city missouri that is one of the best patchwork shops i have ever been into i would have put photos up but they don't allow photos inside but holy cow that is a, well one the needlework side's beautiful but the patchwork side is oh my gosh well, because I called into um, Missouri Star Quilt Company as well, which was great. That's been on my bucket list for years. But Quilter Station, oh, my gosh, was phenomenal. I love um, antique reproduction fabric too, so they have a m massive ranges of those. It's making room for more. Okay. I love these two. This one is by Janine McGowan of the Blue Flower. This is called Tudor Hair. She gave me these at market. Let me just move everything out of the way. Oh, that's going to come crashing down. So this one's called Tudor Hair. She also had a um, one of the two other Tudor ones, Tudor Swan she had and Tudor Bee. So this one's Tudor Hair. And, of course, I love this one because it's a greyhound, and that's Tudor Hound. That's one of my favourites from market. In the one room I think we both got into, you bought. Oh, we bought a stack of fabric one we away. We bought a heap of colour and cotton. We bought a heap of um, Shakespeare's Peddler. Um... Graham Crackers, uh, uh, is it Graham Cracker Fabrics, I think. It's her son that dies, and we bought a stack of those. That was one, the red one that you bought. I bought one piece. Oh, well, I bought several. But they're just, it's, I love it's how all been. We bought a stack of it. I got, well, you didn't even, I asked you to go and buy a piece for me, and you come back and, and not funny, even buying the it. The funny thing is, the piece I had in my hand, I put back, and it's the piece that Brendan went back and actually chose. It's the so. piece I asked you to go over you and get did for not, me. You had I had been in there already. I anyway. delivered charts and I said, when you go over, can you buy that piece of red fabric near the window for I me? don't remember hearing that. So anyway, he has it. So it's all, all good that ended well. Only because I went and bought it myself. Yeah. Well. You didn't want to use your money to buy a, <laughs> my piece of fabric. Not my money. It's our money. Right? But her room, as always, stunning. She used to be our neighbour at market, but then neither one of us could make it in 2023. So we were then in different rooms, which was sad because I loved being next to Teresa. But it was great. We had great neighbours this year too. Um, but, oh, my gosh. Her, some of these things she literally, literally, I think, finished with days to go. But beautiful. Pretty in Pink was stunning. That's been very popular, I think, as has Pennsylvania Christmas 2. Because though she had Pennsylvania Christmas, which I've also got. This was a little sweetie. This was the exclusive Home Sweet Home. And I love this one too. One Nickel Needles. And I got a Natural Beauty Elizabeth Hanel 1840, which is a reproduction. So I love those. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, everyone's had to get this. That's the Spring Pears by Annie B's. Fabulous. And then Kathy Barrick gave me a heap of hers because we, we um, took a lot of the fabric uh, that some designers had asked for around to the rooms, and when I took them around, they, they gave us their fabulous designs. So this is from Kathy. Vibrant Flowers. Oh, I've seen a few people stitching this. I think there's a stitch along going for that one at the moment. Peace and Plenty Farm. These are the ones I chose. She just said pick what I wanted, so I did. 
This is Carrie Chas sampling. So, so this is uh, Marty, Kathy's uh, sister. And this is Strawberry Dream. It's third in a series from Trudy's Kitchen. I love that one. That was gorgeous. That one was stitched in the room and it was so beautiful. Um, oh, the recipe for the cakes on the back. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. So I had really, these things went to our suitcase and this is. It's got the recipe. Oh, the, I love that. On the back for strawberry shortcake from someone's grandma, I guess. It's all handwritten too. Oh, as in the yeah, photocopies. It looks like it is the actual recipe. It's cut. the scans. It's scanned, I meant to say. It says from, from, it's from Trudy, Trudy's Kitchen. Trudy's Kitchen. Oh, it's probably, there's obviously a story behind that, but I don't know what it is. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, so pretty stitched. And a couple of them in there. I kind of think this is an older one, but I saw the model in Kathy's room and it was gorgeous. It's Good Intentions Revisited. Yeah, 2023. That one was from last year. This is one of her new ones, Caught in the Swirl. And I think this was an older one too. Yeah, this one was 2023 as well. And again, the models were so beautiful. This is a winter sampler. So they're the ones. And oh my gosh, Teresa Kogut completely knocked it out of the out of the oh well my favorite market release was from Teresa. Um and luckily she was literally on our floor. She was like next door to it, like two doors around from us, which was very convenient. I'm just trying to I've got this in my plans as well. My favorite from market was Serenity. That's done on our up in the attic. Um and I'll talk about that one. So she's autographed that one for me, but I've got to put that. That's in my plans with Akshay. Uh, this one I loved. This is Voice So Sweet. Oh, I hope that's not too reflective. This one is inside. Yeah, it is right at the back. She signs them in a very strange place. Oh, okay. Happy stitching, Karen. Hugs, Teresa. Yeah, she signs them in the back. I... I I saw her signing it, and then I couldn't find it, and then I found it in the back. Um, where I love this one. Wherever there are birds, I love that big black bird. Um, Probably smarter to sign in the back. I sign across the front. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that too, actually. But anyway, and God saw this was stunning as well. Oh, I also got her. Oh, I was going to say I got one more. I got, also got her. Now I'm in her Patreon which is just so, so good. Um, so a lot of the ones in this book I actually are previous Patreon releases, but there were a few that were um, unique to this book. And I know I think she was going to make the two that are in here available for patrons as well. But when you see a book printed as beautifully as this, you just want oh, crease the edge. But you just want to have the book in your collection. So I bought, I bought the book from Quilter, Station. from Quilter Station when I was in there. Fabulous. Just such great value. Okay, what have I got next? I've got... We're getting there, we're getting there. And make room for more. Make room for more. This is the last of the... Thing. Now, um, which one was that one? This one... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Won't fall off. I hope it doesn't fall off too, baby. Otherwise, it'll just make a big noise. Um, so, from the heart, we were gifted this one. From, uh, from heart and hand... Mementos of the Heart and Imprints, Imprints, Love and Heart uh, from Cecilia. Cecilia came and gave us these because she used our linen in several of the projects. And this one is Saltbush. And actually, there was one more. There was one more too. Ah, and uh, this was Saltbush as well, I think. Yes. So this was the second in the series, series Floral Etchings 2. So she came around and handed those to us, which was a lovely surprise. It's always lovely when the designers use your linen and you get all the, the pretty charts. This one everyone's seen and highly sought after, the, the 2024 Prairie School Santa. Um, Kathy Haberman, again, always, always knocks it out of the park. I know I say that about everyone, but she really does. But everyone's doing this one. It's Botanical Bee. I also bought um, the... Oh, which one is it? I've got it here to show you with my plans. I'll show you that one. That one's in a, over there. I'll, I bought another one of Kathy's, which I'm I'm starting as soon as I get that model finished. 
Uh, this one I got from Quarter Station as well. This was by Annie B's Folk Art, and this is called Down in the Valley. These are things I would have, like, bought from Annie had we got to her room, but I just didn't get in there. These were from our friend Linda. She used, looks like hog bristle. No, I'm not sure. No, I don't know what. Oh, no, well, that's not no that, one's, that one's not. Why? Did she, she must have just given them to me. She's our friend, so she must have just given them to me. This is Speak the Truth in Love by Linda Vincent from Needle Maid. And that one's the kind of companion piece for it. This is the one that I absolutely love, and this is going to go into my rotation. This is on baked clay, and it's fabulous. And it's called Jean Walker 1812, a.k.a. Uh, also known as Goosing Jamie because see the two geese are lifting up the right. kilt. This is such fun. That's the, that's the little one. And she said that she sees as Jamie from Outlander and the two geese are lifting up his kilt to see what's underneath. That's so, if you know Linda and we know Linda's a very good friend, that is so, so very much her humour. Now, when we were at Keepsakes, this was, oh, my gosh, Keepsakes. That shop, if you are anywhere near Cincinnati, Ohio, that is so worth, even if you've got to drive out of your way to go to it, it's in a beautiful old house. Like, I know so many people have been there because they go to StitchCon and obviously go to the shop. We'd never been before. I don't think in my life I've ever seen that many samplers, that many models on walls there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Every single part of that shop has models on it. It's so fabulous and inspirational. And um, now I love Karen Kluber from Rosewood Manor. Now I don't even know what year this was. It's it's probably 2012, so it's been around forever. But the models on the wall, oh my gosh, it was so so beautiful. It's called Good in Everything, so I had to buy that. It was so. You know, now, Karen does really good photos for her covers and everything, but I don't know that I would have just grabbed that had I not have seen the model. The model was beautiful. And it was all done in the, it was all done, you know, in the suggested colours and everything. Okay, next, 12 Days of Christmas Stockings by Annie Bees. Fantastic. Um, again, some of these I just bought at the shops as I was going. This one is Bessie and the Bluebells by Dirty Annie's. It's just something about this I just loved. It's just, it's very different for me, but I really like that one. This one is Jeanette Douglas and it's called Needle Be True Sampler and Smalls. Again, I saw this one. This is beautiful. Oh, I've been trying to, not too, oh, it's a bit reflective. But yeah, it's got that really shiny. Yeah, I know. From Liz Matthews, I also took some fabric around for Liz and she gave me a handful of charts, which I was very grateful for, and she had a beautiful room at market. This is Cottontail. These were her market releases. Oh, and I've also got her, oh, it's in the other room. I think it's her, I think it might be the ninth or tenth day of Christmas in the, in the 12 Days of Christmas series. I don't have that in front of me. This is Remember Me, Sampler and Tree. This was You've Got the Love. Is this, this one is here. Is this a market release? I think. Oh, yeah. This is A Buzz at Midnight. And this was my, this was one of my favourite market releases as well. This was a close second behind um, Serenity. This one's called Spring House. It was so, it's on two different kinds of, actually, I might take that out. It was on two different types of fabric, um, which, which you joined in the middle. This was so beautiful in real life. Um, it's really, really pretty. So I can't recommend that one highly enough. It's gorgeous. Liz did such beautiful. Just, isn't that gorgeous? See how it's joined? Yeah. There? Really cool. Now, I would normally, I would have sewn it, but she actually had them stretched over two parts and sandwiched in the sample together. It was very clever. Well, these were a no-brainer. I think there's barely a stitcher anywhere in the world that hasn't bought these. This is Blackbird Designs, Thy Love More Strong. Just so beautiful. And Moments of Glad Grace. These are books with several designs in them. My friend, 
Um, it's so funny. Tracy Horner's from Ink Circles. Her mum, the very first year we were at market, we were on the same floor as Tracy on, on the second floor. And her mum really loved my Honeymakers design, which was my first design I ever released publicly. And so I gave it to her. And then when I went up to uh, up to Tracy's room, she's such a sweet lady, Tracy's mum. such a, She looks so much like Tracy. And uh, when I went to her room then, she gifted me castles, castle walls, which I loved. So that was awesome. So this year her mum was back and come up to us on the fourth floor and she, she came in and she loved... I think it was my uh, moth. We we had oh my gosh, that's what I we haven't shown. They come at night. No, 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 it wasn't. They come at night. Oh yeah, they come at night. So I gave it to her, and then we were talking. And she said, "Did I like any of?" I said, "Oh, any of Tracy's." I said, "Oh, I I've got to get around and see it because green's my favourite colour." And I said this one. She goes, "Oh, you mean Jolly Green?" I said, "That's the one." I think Gary and Ronnie from uh, Garon Stitchery had told me how stunning it was. And then Tracy came around and gifted me this and she signed it, which is lovely. So that is Jolly Green. And it's got one, two, three, four Threadworks DMCs in, uh, DMCs, threads in it, which I've got to get because I think you really need, uh, you really need. Ca signed with a fountain pen. It is signed with a fountain pen. Uh, Tracy and Brendan bonded over their love of fountain pens. I just remembered we haven't shown you our market releases, which I will get in a minute. A couple of them are still over in the States. Um, we left a few things with Gary and Ronnie the, uh, for the trunk show for their grand opening because they're opening their bricks and mortar store. I think it's on the 20, I want to say the 28th or 27th or 28th of this month um, in Ozark, Missouri. So I, if, I if, if we weren't so busy, I would have thought about flying over for their opening, but it's going to be wonderful. Now, next, we, um, I don't want to get into, I'll, I'll get too upset, but we recently lost our last Whippet, who was his Jimmy, and he was, that was all very sad just before we went to market. But anyway, um, when Holly, who, from Stitchy Pros, her and Michelle Garrett from Bendy Stitchy, she had a room next to us at market. And when Holly heard about Jimmy's passing, she, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to get a bit teary. She gifted me, um, she gifted me that, which I thought was very, very lovely, which is one of her designs from Market. So, ugh. and Michelle um, stitched this one on, which on our salt bush. It looks great in there, but it is actually salt bush. This was one of her fantastic releases at Market. It's called Rappuccini's Quaker. So she gifted me that one. And, um. Oh, Cross Stitch Antiques. Oh, God, Kathleen Littleton. I couldn't think. From Cross Stitch Antiques, this one is just beautiful. And this is stitched. And so she gave me that when I went into her room. And that is on Eureka. And it's called Emmeline Hotchkiss Nicole 1846. It was one of my favourite reproductions from Market. I thought that was beautiful. I was just, it was just a fluke that it's, that's obviously the sample on the cover, but it's the model's being stitched now. But and the model was like three quarters stitched. It was so pretty. And she goes, oh. That's actually on your linen. And she went and just grabbed the chart for me. So I said, oh, thank you. Now, this was something I picked up because they were sold out by the time I got around there on the Sunday. This I got from this Corsa station. This was very cool. This was a lovely notebook by um, Primrose Cottage. It's just beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. And it's a little kind of cross. It's a little sort of, what is it, would you journal. say? A track, journal, tra a tracker for your cross stitch projects. But in it, it's lovely. There's, but at the front there, bub, there's all um, there's all stickers and things you can put in there, all pretty sort of stitching related stickers and things that you can put in there, and so it's basically a project tracker, and um, it's very cool. There's rooms for photos and all the. You see all the nice stickers. Oh, Beautiful. Two lots of different ones. Two lots of different stickers. Yeah, uh, I think this was a really hot item at market. Um, yeah, so. But that's, you can just show the inside. It's not going to hurt anything, I don't think. But that's the sort of thing from the, yeah, I was going to say show from back here. So that was nice. I got that at um, Quilter Station as well. Um, like I said, at the end, because I just realised we the, we didn't show you the main thing, which is our, our market releases, we'll put that at the end of the video. Um, this is the Deadly, this is, the, um, this is also in my plans. So this is the Deadly Aquarium Stitch Along by Lola Crow Cross Stitch. The frame was released today. 
Um, so this will then come in weekly parts. And I think every three weeks or so we get a, a break to catch up. And this is just the frame that was released today. So that's all very exciting. I have her haunted, haunted, haunted library and haunted greenhouse. So this is now the, uh, isn't that cute? But look at the little tiny bird. Little seagull. Little seagull. So that's going to be the haunted aquarium. And just the little tidbits that she's shown us, uh, just the little sneak previews, it looks like it's going to be just as much fun as all of her others. So you can find that on Lola, Lola Crow Cross Stitch. Uh, I think it's Lola, Lola Crow crossstitch.com i think is that what her, is that what the address is on the the lola crow crossstitch.com yeah i know is it dot com yeah um now oh i'm in as i said i'm in Teresa kogut's patreon oh she's done fantastic i love the ones from this month um okay so for tears two three and four this was the chart that they get, and this is Faith, Hope, Peace, and Love. This is all done in a really lovely blue palette, which is a little different for Teresa. Uh, and then if you're in levels three and four, tiers three and four, this one is Love and Charity. I love the how she's sort of kept the same theme. And the third one, is, which is if you're just in tier four, is called Faith. I think these will stitch up really, really pretty. Um, when I was at market, I also purchased this, which is the one, this will be in my plans. This is the one that, um, Kathy Haberman, Spring Folk will be going on that. And this will be in my plans. That's by, um, 141, Chantel's 141. I will put that with the other thing. Um, again, Stitchy Pros. I think a lot of people have probably seen, I should take it out of that by now. Got massive home see now. Anyway. Can't see it in that night. This is well, you actually saw this. You actually saw this, didn't you? Holly showed you. Um, now the whole idea, I think. Well, I know there's lots of things. One, um, this part here, I know you can wrap around like a thread winder, and that's for longer lengths, and that's for even longer lengths. This is, this is a fabric gauge. To count that's a fabric. gauge to count your to work out what um, stitch stitch count you're working on. Uh, this is a corner gauge, so you got up to up to two inch, two and a half inch, three inch for your to work out where to start your margin from. It's got things. Oh, it's got all. What's the other thing? It's got um ruler. Yeah, it's got the ruler, but it also says um, how many strands of thread you use over over how many threads. Needle by count. So if you're using fourteen count eight or twenty eight count linen, it's a you know the size of the needle you need and the interesting thing is that when you put it up against something it actually kind of changes color it's hard to, so if, if i had a black i don't have a, anything black here but if i have something black there um it it changes sort of everything to white and if you've got white background it changes it all to black see that no, it doesn't isn't see. that cool i didn't know that because i saw someone demonstrate see that that's cool isn't that neat so, yeah, not a very good demonstration on our part, but, yeah, somebody else, it you're looking good. for something black, aren't you? Yeah, it looked good for me. Uh, I've got a piece of black fabric in yeah. that in that paper bag over there. Yeah, it's not happening. Oh, well, there we go. But it does. So that's a, the, one of the worst descriptions of a product I think I've ever heard. But it's called, it works. It's called, it's called the Cross Stitch Buddy Ultimate, and... Um, I know Holly sold those from Stitchy Pros, sold those to shops all over the place. So I'm sure you can get that at most good cross stitch shops, needlework shops. Um, do you need to go outside? No. Oh, I forgot one. This is Many Mansions. I'm just let Peach go. You keep talking. Oh, okay. Many Mansions by Annie B's Folk Art. This is another one I got at no, Quilter Station. Everyone just saw my pajamas, didn't they? Oh, lovely, Brendan. Delightful. No. Um, now, my friend Michelle, this was one of her releases at market that she gifted me, and I absolutely love this. This is called Pocketbook Peacocks. Now, I'm not ready to start this yet because, I, as I said, I've got to get this model finished. But what I want to do is I want to stitch this one. It won't take long to stitch. It's so cute. It's from an antique sampler, I believe. Um, now, I love the colours that Michelle has chosen, but I'd actually like to pick something in my own sort of palette that I like. And if anyone wants to join me when I start this, I'll probably start it in June 
And I'd like to just not challenge everyone, but get everyone to join me on this one and and pick their own colours. So I'd love to see this stitched in everyone's different colourways because it's such a quick, funky little design and it's it won't take long and I'd love to see this done in different colourways. Michelle's is a fabulous colourway, but I thought, I think, let's let's do a fun little choose your own floss, floss stitch long. So if you want to join me in that, I think we might start 1st of June and it's Pocketbook Peacocks by Bendy Stitchy. Isn't that cool? Jean Lee, I think Michelle was saying Jean Lee from the attic come in and absolutely loved that. So I think she's going to do it on 56 count. Oh. Well, that's what Jean stitches on. I know. I thought, no, 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 I won't be doing it on that. <laughs> um, I'm in the – now, I have got March's fabric, but I I don't know where I put it. It's uh, Well, it's here. I, we've just got to start. We've been so busy since we got home, we just literally have not had a chance to get organised in, what, three months, Bren? But this was February's um, Fabric of the Month by XG Designs. This is called Brick Powder. It's really, really pretty. So that's that one. I get, I'm get. i in the 40 count primitive um, club, so I get all the sort of sampler colours. And the one from this month's gorgeous too. It's just And what they do is they send you a little um, – so this, I can highly recommend this club. I uh, This is sort of um, – Months by months in Scandi style. So this is two of 12. So every month you get the free chart and you get a little free, um, or bonus, I should say, bonus um, hand-dyed floss, which is always fun. And that's always in that design. So that's always great fun. I've always got to remember to put this back on so I know what. You forget what they are. Otherwise what I know I've done that before. Oh, I can't find the other two. I also, um, Beth also gave us, um, um, Heartstring Sampler also gave me her three little floss, um, you, you wind your floss onto these. There's a butterfly, a sheep, and a butterfly, a sheep, and I don't, they're in my room. I just can't find it at the moment. But so she get that, that's the butterfly, and there are two others. It's like a it's a trio, and I've got them. I've got them in my room. We've got too much stuff that hasn't been properly unpacked yet. And this was gorgeous. And she gave me this one because she knows I love wood that has all the what do you call it, Brendan? It's it's where the all the wood. Yeah, but what what did that what did they say? At, um, R and R Woodworks that causes that black streak in the wood. Something to do with an insect, I think. But Beth knows I love ones with that quirkiness in the wood, so she gave me that um, home is where you hang your... And she also gifted us a light box, and my one's over there. Can you grab mine for me? Why didn't you get me to get it while I was I up? don't know. I didn't even think. Everyone's going to see my pyjama bottom. Well, this is really in the gifts, I suppose. Um, one other thing I bought when I was at um, Quilter Station, I got... I, I you know, got to a point I had, we had to worry about our luggage a little bit. I just bought a really pretty little fat bag. quarter. We bought another bag to bring home, I know. So that was a little fat quarter. But I also bought um, a couple of yards of this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric, which is just beautiful. It's got pomegranates all down it, which I just loved. I got it. I was getting a yard, and then I thought, no, 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 I'm getting two. Also, they have um, project bags for sale there, and I didn't have. I love this fabric by Teresa Kogan, but I didn't have any. So I've now got a beautiful quilted, padded, vinyl fronted um, project bag that they must make there. Um, it's beautiful, all gorgeous, thick, thick padded bag. So I got that at Quarter Station. I'll just put that fabric inside there just to keep it to keep it nice and clean and safe. I've got a feeling that's all I've actually purchased, Brent. I'm pretty sure. Right oh, what's next? Bound to be heaps of things I'm missing. <laughs> What else is next on your list? Now we've got gifts. So at market, when we were in Sandy, Oregon, uh, for the Acorns and Threads meet and greet last May, May last year, gosh, it's a year ago, just as we were going to have two days with Beth and her husband, we were going out, to, we were going out in Sandy, then we are going to have a whole day out of, out of her beautiful home and see where the woodworks were done and everything. And Therese and um, 
And Beth, go to the Bigfoot and, Museum. And go to the Bigfoot Museum. All those things we end up doing, but unfortunately we had to do them without, without Beth because she just got back from Disneyland and got COVID. Literally, as she was gutted, she said, I've got these gifts for you, but I can't. I think her hubby wanted to actually leave them in the mailbox, but she didn't want to run any risk that she touched anything, I think. So she gave, she gave them to us at market instead. So these are fantastic. They're, they're lit by USB. Um, USB. And they're so, so pretty. They're so pretty. They yeah, they hold your scissors, but you can all, and there's got a little needle minder there, but they're lit from inside. And when it comes through these little cutouts, it's the prettiest thing you've ever seen at nighttime. They hold two, four, five sets of, um, sets of uh, scissors. And these come out. Mine says, I'd rather be stitching. Very hard to see. I know when they're not on. But they're interchangeable. So once you've bought one, you can actually then buy, I believe you can buy the different inserts. So, if, yeah, so you've got like a, a wintry theme. Yeah. And I've got, I think this one was a new one for market. I think, I think, I'm not sure. Oh, no, it can't have been because she, she had them first. Oh, it might have had a different slot in the one she was giving me last year. So that was a beautiful gift from Beth, apart as long, along with her beautiful wood products. Um. Oh, I just realised I've also got this month's colour and cotton. We just quickly go through the colours. Yeah. Okay, we'll go through the. I'm in the colour and cotton floss of the month club. We'll quickly go through the colours. Emerald. Brent can quickly hold this up. Arctic. These are the bright ones first. Oh my gosh, you should see a colour and cotton's wall of cotton. You can have a look at it on our Instagram and our Facebook. We took. Oh, it's so beautiful. Lemon tart. Oh. It's great green atomic these have just arrived so i just looked at the lapis oh that's very blue pickle cardinal salamander bumblebee Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to move it away from me so you can see it because it's blending in with my orange Oh, with your orange. <laughs> um, Marina. Ooh, look at that. For a... Oh, God, something just happened next door. Gold Crest. There's no screaming, so no one was hurt. We've got little kids next door on us. So loud. Bronze. It sounds like they're slamming the gate. Yeah, they are. Uh, eggnog. We're too old for little kids. We are. We are. Bear copper, especially ones that are just badly behaved as those kids. So. Too old and Hay grumpy. bale. Hay bale. Hot cocoa. Wow. You get a lot. I do. I do. I mean, um, she's got four different ones and she combines them for me. Chimney sweep. Oh, I think I bought some of that when I was there. <laughs> Silver lining. Pale ochre. Oh, that's so pretty. And old lace. So now I think that's the last of my purchases. Okay, so when we were going down, um, we as I said, we called into Rich and Rocks from R&R &R Woodworks. That's their business card. Can you put that near the camera? Uh, the level of workmanship that Rich... Um, I don't know if it's focusing on it. I don't know. That Rich puts into his woodwork is just second to none. It's sensational. Now, when we were there, they gifted us um, some. Now, I love this wood that had, I don't, I can't remember now what he said. I'm sure it was, oh, no, I know what it was. I think, he, was it the thing where they have, no, was that that one that has the rusty, where it has a nail and stuff in there? That was that one. Was that that one? I think this might be some sort of insect Mark. or something, and I just love them. So there's two different sizes that they do. I think it's 9 and 12 inch or something. So they gifted us these ones because we they've sent us ones before and we just love them. So that's the smaller one. But look at the beautiful um, markings on that wood. Look at this one. Just gorgeous. They have all different types of woods and finishes. And I love this one. Oh, I wish I could remember what Rich called the names of the should woods. Have written them down. I should have written them down. That one's beautiful. Oh, that's the one with the pattern in it. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? I can't remember what he said. Probably can't see He it. gave us stories on all of them, and I can't remember now. But this one, he took us out to his, his um, woodworking amazing shed. And 
I took some photos and again, I post them on our social media. He was so kind showing us the whole process and all the woods and everything. And I particularly love this, this gorgeous wood. It was like, I forget what, it's called rainbow. Poplar. Poplar? Is that what it was? Oh, it was beautiful. And he had this one, this piece of wood there. And he said, you like that one? I said, yes. Yeah. So he literally made this for me while we were in there. So that one is extra, extra special for me because that was just incredibly kind. So he went from a piece of raw wood to that um, in the in, while I was – he was showing me each, each step as he did it and I watched every process and it was – Oh, I was just, we were just honoured to be there, weren't we? And the two of the nicest people you would ever meet in, and their property in Kentucky is like in the middle of nowhere. It was beautiful country, but it was, it was so quiet. It was, it felt like it was a million miles away from modern society, didn't it? We loved it out there. And he also gifted us these. You've got a couple there, but I'll just, we'll just show you these because he gave us one each. So this was all the stuff with their with their logo. So this was a thread. These are all available on their website. This was a thread holder. This is a corner gauge. And then these were three needle minders. One is the... What does it call that thing, Brenner? A circular saw? Saw blade, yeah. Saw blade. Obviously, that's the state Kentucky. of Kentucky. I hope you can see these. And that was uh, just a barrel. Oh, it's a bourbon barrel, bourbon I would imagine. Because it is on the bourbon trail, which if we'd had more time, Brennan definitely would have liked. As we're going towards uh, Cincinnati, we're going past all of the um, Jim Beam and all the – we're on the distillery trail. It was the whiskey trail or whatever it was. Brendan would have loved to have called into those places. So that was, they were lovely gifts and a lovely time spent there. And then, oh, my we gosh. We forgot one of the things we did buy, but What's that? arrived yesterday. What's that? Millennium Friends. Oh, we'll show that in the next video. Yeah. But this the, has been going long enough. But if anyone um, mm. wants Millennium Frames, we ordered last Sunday mm. and they arrived on Friday. Yeah, our friend Katie Strachan, because we, we, we... Like less than five days it took to get to us. That's why, is it Needle Needs? Needle Needs. Needle Needs in the UK. UK. Um, we have, we managed to get a set of them plus a stand many years ago, but for a very long, long time. Dog with my glasses. What were they, Brent? 18 months to two year wait? Because they're yeah. beautifully, beautifully handcrafted um, by hand. They're just magnificent. And I don't know, we just didn't want to wait. We wanted to add to our sets, didn't we, Bren? But it was just too long a wait. And then Katie Strachan said to us, oh, they've got a, I think he's, I think the gentleman has put apprentices on in, in the UK and they shipped them immediately. Yeah. So we had it in less than a week. Mm -hmm. From the time we ordered mm -hmm. it to the time I unpacked it, it was less than a week. So if anyone has been wanting a millennium frame for all these years, but were put off by that long wait period, and I don't, you know, I don't blame you, um... There, yeah, have a, buy them now. It's it was amazing. <laughs> so that arrived yesterday. So we'll show you that in the next video because um, they're they're beautiful, beautiful works of art. Those frames. Like I mean, I know other frames are great and everything, but nothing compares to to the Millennium frame. Now our lovely friend Teresa Coquette wanted to give us something at market because we've I don't know she's a great friend and we've you know we've given her a lot of linen and and. <laughs> And plus, she just saw these. And I was going to say, plus, she's a friend. And quite honestly, she, we're just completely honoured that she actually uses our linen for her glorious designs. But she said, I bought you a little something. I was going to bring it to market. But I realised when it arrived, it was too heavy for you to take home. So I've sent it to your home address. So this was waiting for us when we get, got home. And I can see now why, why she didn't want to bring it to market. Look at these fabulous, this, this is heavy bronze, what, brass. brass. And so we've got a rabbit. I think it's brass. It's very heavy. I don't think it's bronze. I think it's brass. No, it'd be brass. But they are, so they're, they're like little dishes you can put potpourri or anything, lolly bowls, anything. So we've got a fox and a rabbit and we just love it. When this massive box was waiting for us, she did tell us she'd set it home, but we didn't know what it was. She wouldn't give us a hint. And when we opened it, we were blown away. So thank you, Teresa. We just love these so much. And we'll think of you every time. 
Um, these will, will come with us wherever we go. We just love them. So we can put them back behind us now because they normally live behind us. Also, too, if you have an intruder to your home, they are one big weapon. weapon. You can you should don't need. And not only that, she also gave us these, which are fantastic. Where's your one? Over, oh, there. over there. It's beautiful, beautiful bags. Oh, mine's different to yours, isn't it? Yeah, yours is different to mine, baby. Mine's a Santa one. Yours is a Santa one, and and mine is well, just a lovely lady. Which I expect to be filled up with presents at Christmas. <laughs> But they're great bags, aren't they? They're really heavy canvas. I've used mine heaps now. I use mine practically every day. Really, really good bags. So thank you, Teresa. You are a sweetheart. And that was a very lovely surprise to be here waiting for us when we got home from a very hectic time away. Um, also, too, when we were at Curran Cotton, on the um, Angela and her mum sent us home. Um, Lauren is her mum, sorry sent us home with a massive goodie bag of snacks, didn't she, Brent? I ate them all. This was, yeah, Brent ate them all, even if he was sick after it. I needed Not the sick energy. as in sick as he was eating them. Uh, this was the beautiful, beautiful card. That, that, it was a huge, huge bag of things we'd never seen before. And again, I think I'll put the picture on, on our socials. And uh, they've got road trip snacks should always look like an unsupervised eight-year-old was sent to the store. So good to see you both. Safe travels, Lauren and Angela. So thank you. This one had them all devoured within about a day. And also, too, to anyone who gifted us food when we're over there, uh, we don't have them thank to you. show because Brendan ate the lot. So, which, didn't you, baby? Well, it would go off otherwise. <laughs> it was so there were chocolates, there were uh, lollies, there were chips, there was popcorn, there was pretzels, all pretzels. There, was beer. there was beer, which, yeah, with, with, with Bigfoot on them, Bigfoot cans. Oh, my gosh, our lovely friend um, Darlene, she... Uh, Lemon biscuits. She was from the was marking sampler, designer from the marking sampler. She always brings in, and I know when she brings us in this big box... They're these lemon cookies from Knoxville, Tennessee, which is where they live. And she always gifts us. A, she gave them to us at Hobby House last year and she brought them to our room at market. And there's there's a dozen of them. Yeah. And you knew that if you got one of those when you came to our room, we like you an awful lot because, believe me, we don't part with those very, very easily. When we were at – also, we had such a lovely time uh, at Keepsakes. A lot of the stuff, again, is – it's all over the place, but – we got one of the – they. Um, uh, we were loaded up with a lovely gift bag from them. This is their signature bag, and it's green and it's checked, so I love it. Um, there's things like keepsakes, needle, uh, thread minders. We've got cards. We've got a heap of stuff. It's not all in one place because I, I was using some of the things out of the – this is the problem when you don't do a floss tube right away. You don't still have them to show. But that was, that was a lovely gift to take with us. My friend Akshay um, had sent a lovely gift uh, to us at market. Now he he gave I got this beautiful little these beautiful little uh, we call them rabbit floss cards, and we got a gorgeous gorgeous floss ring. Now this is by who's this by? Um, Sweet, Sweet Autumn, Autumn Stitch. Stitch. You got a fox, and I got this beautiful, beautiful little house, which are little. We love, we love these because I because we both use our fab, um, our threads on floss drops, so that was my beautiful one. Now that we've shown that, I can now use it. So that's going to go. Akshay and I are starting Serenity wherever that was. I what there. I do with it's that? In this big pole over here. Oh, Bren. Anyway. So we're doing Serenity. We're doing a birthday. So I'm, with, I'm starting a um, Serenity on my birthday, which is the 6th of May. And Akshay kindly gifted me. I've sent him the up in the attic for it, which is what Teresa did it on. And he sent me, oh, I can't wait to get these out of this thing. Yes. No, that's not Serenity. It's the other one, baby. <laughs> you sure you put it in there? I thought you put it in the front here. I moved everything. Oh, you here. did? No, not that one. He's picking up every book. Oh, there it is. There it is, on top. So, yeah, we're starting Serenity. Um, I've sent him a piece of Up in the Attic, and he kindly gifted me this beautiful conversion pack 
of Vicky Clayton silks for Serenity. Are uh, they look? It's just look at that. Can't well, not, wait. Can't see it. No, I know, but it's in a sealed pack. But I want I wanted to keep them all together because I didn't want to lose them on the way home. So this is going to be my birthday start on the sixth of May. Akshay and I are going to do a stitch along. If anyone wants to join us, we'll work out a hashtag. I'll tell you what that is before May sixth. So. Uh, yeah, so that's very exciting. And actually, you are such a dear friend. He's one of the loveliest people. We are hoping to meet him after market finally next, next year. year. He lives. He and his family live in uh, Texas. Um, now, not only did I get that, I think I mentioned some time back that my fourth great grandmother is Sarah Moon. She's the the girl who stitched the um, Sarah Moon Ackworth sampler, which I've got. And so Vicky Clayton, when she when Akshay mentioned to her that I wanted to stitch it in her silk conversion, which she'd already done, she gifted me the Sarah Moon um, silk pack. So that will be another thing I'm starting this year. And uh, this will be my first time you've stitched with them, but it's my first time stitching with Vicky's silks. And I, I love the the look of them is beautiful, and everyone says how fabulous they are. So I can't wait to start those two. So yeah. Serenity on the 6th of May. Um, now, my friend Sandy, as I said, who I missed when she was in Australia. I still can't believe I missed her in Australia. But anyway, that's... Oh. But she sent the most beautiful parcel uh, with her friend who was who was exhibiting at Market 2 for me. Now, a lot of it included food, which is gone. Which I ate. Um, one of it is in this... I think this is it, this project bag, which I've now got something in. <laughs> And the other thing, oh, I just I I nursed this all the way across the states and all the way home on the plane. I was so worried it was going to get damaged. But first of all, it's in this beautiful little decoupaged box, which is just divine. I remember I got screamed at a lot. I said I was so worried about things inside getting broken. There's just a beautiful little note with in a heart from Sandy. She crocheted. I'm, just, I'm still paranoid about this getting broke. I'm so paranoid about this getting broken. Um, she crocheted this gorgeous little, what's this? Just oh, it's just, a, it's just a lovely thing to go inside the box. She crocheted this lovely little cloth. Thing. Isn't that good with little hearts? Just, it's just, you know when things are handmade for you, they just mean so much. Now, we are both in, um, in Liz Matthews' Patreon as well, which I highly recommend. And I've got to be very careful with these. Ugh. What have you done? Oh, they're, they're actually stuck. No, you've got the ribbon tied Oh, I've got the together. ribbon tied to it. Is that what I did? Oh, my gosh. They, aren't they in the ribbon? No, she tied them in the ribbon, Bren. Okay. So these were tied inside the box. Now, Liz did a... I will untie all these now that I've got it home safely. But she does a tutorial in with her Patreon for making these little air dry ornaments. You cross stitch, you cross stitch the thing, you make the mold from your hand, cross stitch, and then you press them into the. It's an amazing thing, and I think Sandy knew how much I loved them, and she made me too. So I will. The, the, this one is. It, this one says. So Liz did a couple of things. That one's called. You can't really see it, but it says for a friend. So you cross stitch that that cross stitch. As I said, you make the mold, then you do the clay ornament, and then it air dries. And she also did the beautiful heart. So I will absolutely treasure those, Sandy. And I just wish I'd been here in person. I wish we could have met in person to to take to 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 have those handed to me because I just love it so much. And that box is just beautiful. Righto, when we were at, oh, at market, I was just, just at the elevators going from one floor. I think this is on the first day. And this lovely person, oh, my gosh, where's the, where's the, oh, lovely person. Um, Lynn from Penny and Tunny. I had to pronounce it because I kept pronouncing it the other way around. She just grabbed me at the elevator and said, these are for you and Brendan. I didn't even know this lady. And well, I was like, what? I think it was day one of market. I don't think market had even opened. But how fantastic. Brendan's has the orange zip. She said she didn't know what my favorite color was, but I love this. So it's all cryptids. 
How fantastic is that? And ironically enough, she's put the Mothman one at the front of mine and she's put Bigfoot on the front of Brennan. So, so much so that she even realized which cryptids were our favorites. So I just love this. And for someone just to randomly um, gift these to us, so, and they're beautifully made. So Penny and Tunny, I know she's got an Etsy store, which we'll put up in the in the details, um, but I can highly recommend these glorious. And, and it's Lynn, isn't it? Yeah, Lynn, sorry it's taken so long. Obviously, we had to wait until we finally filmed the Floss Tube to, um, to, to publicly thank you for this. I don't think you can see that or not. I'm not sure if it's focusing on it or not. Um, but Penny and Tunny, and we'll put her details up. So that was fabulous. Uh, when we were at uh, Keepsakes, um, we got Judy. Judy came down from Canada, and not a, she gave us, Brent and I, both a gift bag. And in there was maple syrup. Oh, my gosh, there's, I think, two left. These beautiful. No, I ate them. Did you eat them? Yes. <gasps> there's none left. These beautiful, what were they, Brendan? Sugar maple cookies or something? Yeah. Oh, they were so good. I ate the last one the other night. Oh, they were they were in the shape While of a you maple. Were fasting. Oh yeah, good on you, Bren. Um, they were beautiful maple sugar uh, maple leaf, and they were so good. And as I said, there was there were things like um, Canadian floss drops, which we both which were playing cards, which we love. Um, a Canada pen. There so were other. It's a pencil. A pencil. What did I say? Pen. pen. Did I? There were all things. Like I said, some of it was devoured. Um, but it was, again, it was so lovely. I think she said, I've got Ottawa, you've got Toronto. Yeah. Was Ottawa the capital of Toronto? Is it? Forgive my ignorance. I do know, not know my Canadian. Don't look at me. You normally know these things, Brendan. I think she said. It's the capital of the I think the she said Ottawa is the province or capital, I think, of or Toronto is the capital of, I don't know, I've just shown my complete ignorance. I never did geography a day in my life at school. But they're where she's from anyway. <laughs> so we just love these. And, again, it, it's just beautiful. There's a little project card thing on them. With a note. With a note. And we just love those, Judy. And she'd come all the way down from Canada to meet us. And that was, it was just such a lovely thing to, to be handed this gorgeous big gift bag of goodies and that maple syrup. There was a bit of a debate because we'd only had the Vermont maple syrup to that point, and she said, I had to give you Canadian maple syrup because it's better. And I said, oh, that's going to cause it. But it was good. It was really good. Um, we were the designer for uh, a charity raising. I'm a, I'm a member of the um, Sampler Guild of the Rockies, and they asked us, could we do a little um, – design which will be out in probably another year's time and we and they they sold kits as a fundraiser for the uh, which we were happy to to do and donate um and they made um they raised money for different um causes and things and as a thank you they gave us these gorgeous gorgeous project bags they're just just beautiful and they are by fab shabby rose on etsy Fab Shabby Rose on Etsy, and they're really beautiful, and we were not expecting that, and it wasn't necessary, but we oh, very much appreciate it. That's a purchase I forgot about. I thought you had another one, baby. Oh, I'll talk about that when we talk about this one. Okay, yeah, I've got a couple of things to, I've forgotten about purchasing. We're getting all out of water, but you know what? We're rusty. We'll try to be a little bit better next time. Um, I'm in this, I went, I was in this, the club all last year, and I'm in the new one this year. This is the Scattered Seeds Club. Scattered Seeds Sampler um, uh, Club. It's and this is the first offering of the year. This is Sweetness of Spring Pink Keep. Is that not gorgeous? Look how beautifully she does the kits. So I highly recommend that club. I don't know if it's full, but it's fantastic. I'm also in the Threads of History Club with Country Sampler. This came a little while ago, but again, because it's been months since we've filmed, I thought I'd show it. This is so pretty. This is uh, Mary Napier sample, 1832. And again, um, the way they that Country Sampler do their kits is just beautiful. Beautiful. Um, where's, oh, 
I'm in the Garon Stitchery Bag of the Month Club. So I said to Gary and Ronnie, look, I'm going to be seeing you at market. So rather than bring the couple of months worth, you miles send them in the mail. You miles just bring them to market. So they did. So oh, again, cannot recommend this highly enough. They are fantastic bags, and I've got them all all uh, all um, tied up here. Okay, this was the January bag. So always beautiful. Look at that. That was the January bag. This was the February bag, which is divine. I think Ronnie gifted me that one. I think I don't think he actually charged me for that one. I think he gifted me that one because he's the sweetest man on earth. And this was March. I've actually, technically speaking, he he to save him mailing it, he gave me April, but I'm not allowed to show that one yet because it hasn't been released. But he figured it was saving postage. So I think he, he hadn't made them yet, but he quickly whipped mine up before he got to market. So look at this. I love that. Love. And look, baby, it's green and orange. Yeah, I thought it was it. foxes when I didn't have my glasses on. Did you think they were foxes? <laughs> they're, yeah. little, they're little leprechauns, baby. Yeah, but when I didn't have my glasses on, all I could see was little orange. The orange. Yeah. I thought they were foxes in a forest. Um, and I was you... thinking I would steal that. <laughs> you know what, the leprechauns? No. Okay. I'll show you, Brendan, I'll show you a couple more of my. Yep. So Ronnie actually um, made me a bag as a present. So it's got all sailing ships on it. And little anchors on the inside. Yeah. So he made a large uh, project bag so you can put a, a frame yeah. in here. And he knows you love everything nautical. Mm. He's so sweet. He remembers everything we ever say. So that was another thing we did at market. It was lovely. We went out to dinner for Gary's birthday. happened to be at market. So the four of us went out to dinner on the Sunday night after market. That mm. was a fun night. I think we closed the restaurant, didn't we? Yep. And what was this one? Look at this one. Stylish. There we go. That's from Vicky. Needlework Press. What is it? Um, it's the Mog Mogolian, it? Mogolian, Mogolian Sasquatch, Sasquatch Club. Club. I think, isn't he the Sasquatch of Arizona? I think so. I believe so. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, she's going to die leaving that on there. She left the price. You're not to supposed, wow, it's not exactly a cheap cat. Um, yeah, so that's apparently, she. I think she's always talking to Brendan about the Mogolian Sasquatch because... Um, I think she figures he has to get a mention because he's from Arizona and he's a, he's a lesser known cryptid. Oh, yes. This, now, there's a story with this one. So this lovely lady Margaret. contacted me, Margaret, and asked me for our address because she had something she wanted to gift to Brendan. So I sent it to her and this arrived. But the trouble is Bren can't read her email address to say thank you. So, Margaret, hopefully you're watching this. So it's got all um, antique Dutch. sampler patterns. Dutch sampler Dutch? patterns. Uh, yeah. Fabulous. Dutch or, no, German. German? I think. I think it's German. Yeah, German. Stickmuster. It sounds German. Yeah, so it's got um, all the antique sampler yeah. designs recharted in here with explanations in German Yeah. for what they all mean. So that was a lovely surprise, wasn't it? And poor Margaret Bren just, he's tried to email you every combination of what he thinks your address is. Yeah. But he just can't keeps, make yeah, it out. It keeps bouncing back. It keeps bouncing. Yeah, see, I don't know. For some reason it keeps bouncing, Margaret, so we're very sorry about that. Bren's been really upset that he hasn't had another way to thank you for it and we just thought all we could do um, we've got an address there, which I think Bren can read, so we can no, always. That's, that's the other problem. That was wanted, the other problem. I wanted you to read. confirm the address. That's why I was trying to email. Yeah, because you wanted to send her something, but yeah. So hopefully. So you're... Margaret, if you could contact me again, because I don't still have the contact details from when you first contacted me. So if you could contact us again, that would be wonderful. Just send us an email or a or an Instagram message or something like that. That'd be great. Yeah. Hey, bub. What's okay, and now I've also had uh, all these clubs. I'm also in the sewing so uh, schoolgirl sewing club um, club by the Cruel Goblin. My gosh, this thing just grows in popularity every year. I think it's tripled in size since it started, and I think she, I think um, Julie's got a massive waiting list just for next year as well. Cannot recommend this highly enough. The, I've obviously opened it all up, but in the um, in the box is. Um, what happens is there's four a year, so as each one comes out, 
So the next box will have this picture and this picture. And then the third month will have the three pictures and the fourth one will have all four. They're always, as I said, I've ripped mine all open, but they're always beautifully, beautifully packaged. She uses our linen, which is lovely. This one was with paper bark, wasn't it? Yeah, paper bark. And it comes with this beautiful, I can now start getting this all together. Now I'm showing it. Beautiful thread card. It's got this gorgeous, little, now this has got beautiful like French general fabric, beautiful fabric. This is the bonus project to make, and there's got uh, paper box in there as well, to make that lovely little needle book. Uh, so that's the project number one. And project the main project is really beautiful. And uh, our friend Tioni has actually stitched this already um, so fast. She loved it that much. This photo doesn't do it justice. It's from, it's from Sovereign Samplers, which is exclusive to the to, um, Cool Goblin. And it's Angel Dilly's 1859. And it's very, very beautiful. We've seen it stitched and it's just divine. So, yeah, I, I was talking to Julie the other day. Um, she's had a lot of people contact her saying, we'd like to be on the waiting list for next year or can you tell us when it opens next year? She doesn't know yet when it's going to open next year. She, she, you know, she's just planning this year's boxes. I don't think she's even thought through to next year yet. But this is, I think this is the third year it's been running. And as I said, it's 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 tripled in size. I think they wanted to, I think the first year they kept it at a certain number to see how they went and then, doubled again the second year and this year they 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 did it again so i think they're probably at about capacity now i think just with the workload um involved i'm also in the um oh this i can't i can't this this is just amazing where i'm in uh, brendan signed me up for the stitch folk bag of the month quarterly box now the first one come just after our last floss tube and obviously all the things that were in there are all in, in with my sewing things now. But Barry's boxes, uh, Barry's bags, the, the ultimate thing in them is the bag, but it comes with all different little um, extra gifts and things. The boxes are stunning. So this was our, this was the first bag. You, again, you've probably all seen them. Other people would have shown them. Barry's bags are just, oh, the workmanship is just amazing. Beautiful fabric on the inside. So, as I said, there were various other things that came in that box, but I'm already using those things. So that was that one. And then just as just the other day, that um, this this quarter's bag come, and oh my gosh, look at this! This all should have been in purchases, by the way. I know, I know, I realised that. We're, I told you we're doing it all out of order. We are so rusty, babe. Don't you talk? Because you've got things there that should have been purchases for you one too. One bag, but it sort of goes with this, which was anyway, a gift. So. Doesn't matter. So. <laughs> So this is just, just beautiful. Come with a little um, strawberry, little uh, zipper pull. Again, beautiful fabric on the inside. These are just such beautiful, beautiful bags. There were some wax melts, which are up at the studio because we're having them smell pretty up there. There were these um, other, there were other things. Two beautiful project cards, which are with the theme of the bag. A beautiful vinyl sticker, which I can now put on my uh, on my drink cup. This was beautiful. Look at this. this. These are two counting pins that come in this. I don't know if you can see that. Came in this in this cloche. You don't have anything white. I don't have anything white. You can use my diary if you want. I don't think you're going to see it, baby, but careful you don't drop it. Beautiful, beautiful counting pins. So I did, I think... I think I did see, and there were a couple of other things too, which I have, which is still up as due. I think, um, I think Barry might have said that there are some spots, I think, for boxes three and four, but that could have gone by now. But honestly, those bags, they are extra special. They're really, really good. And last but not least, and Bren's right, I should have done these in purchases. Um, we did an un uh, unboxing of this. Should we put that video on or just show it? Just show it. This is the beautiful, Brennan surprised me with this. This is the Hobby House mystery box. I guess there was no special occasion, was there? Mm, no. It, it came a couple of days ago. Look, I mean, just look at that box. The box itself is a work of art. It's And it's really heavy duty, which it, there's not a ding on this thing. It, and it, it, you know, long way for it to come. It was in a box. It was in a box, but sometimes the boxes can get damaged. But this is just... 
Um, now, normally I wouldn't show this, but because it's now arrived what in the store, I can't open it. What am I doing, Brendan? Just open it. I'm trying to. Oh, there we go. It's that's what I mean. It's really, really solid. But because you look like it's childproof. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just about because it's already arrived in Australia. I'm guessing most people have already got this. But if you haven't, close your eyes now because they could still be arriving. Like it's just beautiful, beautiful thing. So this. Oh, I'll show you the project. This is all such wonderful things. This is this smells divine. This is a beautiful handmade um, vanilla soap. Look at the tin. Love that. Hobby House, a little notepad, little cork notepad and pen. Um, oh, I should show you. But this is the gorgeous um, chart. It's called Mary Whedon. It's very, very pretty. So to tie in with that that middle flower, everything has been done to match that. Isn't it beautiful? This is the needle minder. So that um, corresponds to the flower in the middle of the design. So it all coordinates, which I think is very clever. And then we've got the needle, the, the thread, um, the thread keep, which also has that same flower from the middle. We then have that amount of threads, obviously, is, is in the Weeks Dye Works. Beautiful, beautiful colours. A pack of Seiju um, needles. I mean, just all things I would buy myself. Beautiful. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous note card, a note card pack, which again go with the sort of whole theme, the floral theme. Beautiful, gorgeous quality note, note cards. Well, I think there's a uh, six of them there. And last but not least, I'm not sure who the fabric is by. I should say who the fabric is first. It looks like weeks, but I'm not sure. No, I think so, yes, yeah, yes weeks, parchment, parchment linen by weeks dye works, which is beautiful. So, and I and well, I didn't Brent picked the 40 count box for me. So that's a very generous piece of linen to put the gorgeous design on and that is just so super pretty so if you're thinking about getting a hobby house box this is the first one i've ever gotten it's amazing amazing highly recommend like i said i will be keeping this box alone because it's so pretty and speaking of sample boxes before we show you our plans um we've had quite a few people asking us are we still doing our sampler box that we mentioned a few um, videos back yes we are um it's was it going it's going on sale on the first of july we'll be actually overseas when it goes on sale it'll be going on sale on the first of july to be shipped on the first of august so it'll it should fingers crossed arrive to everyone who buys one in time for sampler september that's the schedule isn't it Brent? i think we, we'll start shipping on the first. We'll start shipping on the first, it'll yeah. It'll take us a week It'll to probably ship. take us about a week to ship all the boxes, so they won't all ship in one day, but it'll ship over that first week of of July. August. Of July, of August. Um, and we, we did say, okay, it'll be, we, we have a, we got a huge expression of interest list. So the people who have already sent us that as expressions of interest from back months ago when we first mentioned it, uh, they will get, First go. First go, and then anything that doesn't sell will go up for general release. But we'll email all the people that gave us their expression of interest months ago. So, yes, it is all still happening. We're in the process of getting it all in and together, and it's uh, we're very happy with how it's all coming together. So that's what I remember that because quite a few people have asked me, are we still doing that in July? And, yes, we are. Okay, plans. No, can I finish? Isn't that your plans? It's a bit of everything. Okay, babe. It goes across three different things. Three different categories. All yes. right, then. Go for it. <laughs> so I was actually gifted by the Stitches Merchant here in Australia um, most of the kit. Yeah, all but the fabric. All but the fabric, because I think I've got Which is hilarious, because they used our hog bristle. Uh, for the uh, Charlotte uh, Warrington 1838... BAP project BAP. from Homespun Homespun Needlework and Sampler Group Cross Stitch and Samplers or something I always go yeah 
So they've just re-released this this week as well. For one week only. And I think that... So what happened was... Um, but it's... Um, I got the needlepoint silks with it as well. Yeah. How beautiful are they, Brendan? So, but I have a dilemma with this as well because mm. I also, at the same time... Oh, I dear. I don't know how I'm going to show this. I don't know either, baby. I just have handfuls. Oh, my God. Brendan, that's very elegant. How classy beautiful. is Beautiful. A Verisois silk. Yeah, so I, I did a 103 conversion from the needlepoint silks before I saw the needlepoint well, silks. Well, because Vicky told you what they were. Because yeah. we were supplying the linen for the Australian shop. It, it Just for everyone, though, just in this particular case, um, Sherry from Colorado Cross Stitcher and... Uh, Tam. Mason, you know, Mason linens were the suppliers. Mason linens did the fabric through... Colorado cross stitcher for the American version uh, that was being sold through Colorado cross stitcher, and we did hog bristle for the Australian. Well, not just Australian. Anyone who bought it from the Australian cool. store. Um, so Vicky, Vicky had recommended hog bristle and the Mason linen. I'm not sure of the color. Now, what's happened is because none of us have the time for another release. Yeah, um, is that more classy? That's much better, baby. Because um, Vicky sent you that the, the, there's many of them. There's a lot more than that. And and what's happened now, what Brent's saying now is um, they're actually having it because there's a lot of new members in the group that missed out. So they're having a one week only re-release of this. Now it's going to be with, I believe, oh, you also have the lovely tray, tray. that came with it. It's just there. Yeah, I use that. Um, Brent uses it every day. and um, But it's just going to have the straw linen from Weeks Dye Works. So... But you're not even using hog bristle. You're using our new colour, aren't you, baby? I use the ink colour. Yeah. But what he wants to know is, he was very excited. After... So I'm going to do it on an ink Yeah, that'll be that'll be really nice. This is half yard. It's a half yard, is it? Well, you almost need that for this. This is a big project. Mm. So this is ink This is one of our releases from market. A half yard of 40 count. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, that's only half of it. It's a big piece. Yeah, so he basically wants to... So you were all set to do it in the Averisois for 103s. But then when Tam gifted him the actual called for... Needlepoint silks. Now he has a dilemma. Yeah, I don't know whether to do it in the needlepoint silks or in the 103s. You're leaning towards those, aren't you? They're very pretty. Well, my thought is, Bren, and please let us know in the comments what you think. They are beautiful. So you got that versus that. How do, how do I show these? Colors? I don't know, sweetie. Without making a mess. I don't know. Without having to chase them all over the floor. I don't know. And an Iggy will grab them. No. No, you're not going to do it. I just but yeah. Throw them up in the air. <laughs> up in the air, baby. Just like it. I don't know. But the, my thought is these are glorious. And he already has a beautiful, beautiful collection of 103. So I would just add those to his collection for other things. It's not like you're never going to stitch with them. Well, the one my collection I've never stitched with. No, that's exactly right. Because it's right, just baby. there to fawn over and look. <laughs> the one that's there to look at. So I don't know. My vo I personally vote for the needlepoint silk myself, and of course they were gifted to you too, Fred. Yeah, but I'm going to start stitching it probably next week. There is a sale going, a two-year sale going. There's somebody on the group, yeah, I think. I'm not very good at that. Yeah, someone on the group has divided the entire thing up into pieces, right. I think, I into think assignments. Brenda's going to stitch it with me over 10 years. Over ten, you, you and Brenda. Both yeah. of you want to stitch it and both of you don't like sales. Is that right? Yeah. But I also got the Barry... Bag. Yeah, the Stitch Folk project bag for it too, which oh, has the panel so fun. from the, the sample bag. and the beautiful fabric on the back. And, and, the, and the thing. And the little thread holdery thingy, whatever they For call your floss drops, yeah. Beautiful brain. Yeah, it's even got pretty fabric on the inside. So, whatever happens, the project's going in this bag. <laughs> but I just don't know whether to do the 103s or the needlepoint silks. I've never actually yeah. stitched with needlepoint silk, so I don't know. Well, see, my again, my thought is you you do a, you've got a big you, you will stitch a lot of other things with one hundred threes, but you'd have to specifically need those needlepoint silks for something else. Otherwise, they're just you know what I mean. They, I don't know. You were leaning towards a needlepoint silk though, weren't you, when you saw them? Yeah, they're beautiful colours. Not a bad dilemma to have, might I add. 
But one way or the other, one lot of threads are going in his collection, the other ones are going to be stitched with. You're going to start that soon, aren't you? Next Once we week. get this next, next thing I'm actually going to start next out. week. I'm going to put it on one of the new Millennium frames. Yep. So, yeah, he and Brenda are going to start it together, I believe, and they've given themselves a 10-year yep. time frame. <laughs> so, yeah. So, they're your plans. And I'm also going to restart the Badger, the whatever it's called, the Peacock. Yeah. You're, yeah, oh, that's right. You are talking about that on our live this morning. Yeah, I started it on 40 count on a dark color on seaweed because I'm not stitching that background because I'm ah. not crazy. <laughs> um, but it's the, the the dark fabric. It's too... It's on 40 count. It's your favorite linen, isn't it? Yeah, it's too hard to see at night. So mm. I'm going to change to 36 count. So I've got to restart again. Not that I'd done much. You hadn't done much. Well, one lady, it was funny because Bren was saying this on the live this morning. And I think there's uh, – I, I, we haven't had a chance I've to look at our I've already told her to send me her dress. Oh, a, a lady said, if you're going to abandon that other one, can I have it? So God bless her for asking because, you know what, you don't ask, you don't get, and you are going to send it to her. As soon as she gives so me her address, go. I'll send it to her. Yeah. I thought, gee, that was quick. For someone to think, oh, if he's not going to use that one, maybe I can have it. He said, I'll do it. So I'm going to restart that on 36 count. Yeah. But actually, it's interesting because... Um, and I'm doing that with, from an ad, with an attic uh, 103 conversion. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, oh, that's right. You are too. Um, Jean did that for you when we were at summer school. Summer school, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Those colours are beautiful. Yes. Oh, that's the only thing. The lady who... Oh, there's like 10 stitches on it. So. Oh, okay. So you'll just give her the... She can... She's not She's not expecting the silks or anything. No, she's oh, just going to send the, the... Just the fabric, the basically. The fabric, yeah. Yeah, so that's the least you can do after you... <laughs> You're not going to be using it, so... No. Um, it's a nice piece, too. But is it Kim Contented Stitcher? We saw her at, at, at the... She's doing it on Fossil. On, I think it's 40 Count. 40 Count Fossil. And she, she started, I think, around about summer school, and she's... Powering through it, it's looking beautiful. You thought about changing, but fossil's just as dark as yeah. seaweed as far as hue goes. So you're in the same spot. So you're better off doing it on your seaweed. Oh, well, if we're going to do grey, then I'd have to go prehistoric size light. Something light. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. So, well, that'll be good, sweetie, because you really want to do that. No, and I think I every every sample. time you see Kim's coming to life, you think, oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so um. Oh, I've got the wrong bag. What have I done? Oh, I've got it in two sides. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, the bag that Sandy... I didn't even realise it did this. This cute little bag that Sandy gave me, it has two sides that you can put projects in with a with a thing in the middle. I didn't even know I'd done that. Because I was... We were also gifted, again, because we supplied the fabric for the Australian component well when i say the australian the australian store component of um the stacy nash exclusive which just finished um for the home homespun group julie from the cruel guideline was the store in this case and yeah she kindly gifted us the kit so um it's on a fabric of ours that bring we, we were given a couple of dmcs to try to get it close to what stacy had stitched it on because that was being offered through the the American store, which was acorns and threads, and that was a needle bling fabric. Um, so Brennan actually had one that we'd released through our Fabric of the Month Club, hadn't you? And you, we were going to release it. We are going to release it probably in June. And it seemed to go pretty well. So we just did that fabric for this kit, and then it's been taken off to now be released properly later in the year. But it's beautiful. Uh, Brennan just showed you that. It's, it's all with these gorgeous... Julie did a beautiful kit, as did Tam. Tam's kit was beautiful too, just with all the weak style work threads. And again, without the linen. So luckily I have a piece of that. So, And that came with a lovely little corner gauge, a DMC. I've forgotten that was even in there. And But what I want to start, I love Kathy Haberman's designs. They're just such happy designs. Um, and because I loved that that board. the whole idea of the board and the happy spring colors and i'm all about seasons i love seasonal stitching um plus it's got bunnies on it and it's got rabbits on it so you know it's a no-brainer now i'm this was stitched on a special one i think that fabrics by stephanie did it's um 32 count driftwood Belfast linen, or oh, it's driftwood on 32 count linen we can, I, I tried everywhere in australia couldn't get it anywhere so bread died me a piece that i I just said, can you do something 
that's a greeny brown for me. So it did me a one off. No, this was what this you picked one from my sample. Oh, book. that's what this was. This was from your sampler book. So that's right. So, so what? This, it's actually going to be a future color. At it some is. Point. Yeah. Yeah, I just remembered that. Brent said, "Well." I've got a because what he does when he's doing things like the fabric of the month clubs or where you where you're trying for linen that might not be what he wants for a particular release, but he thinks well that might be okay for a future release. He does a swatch book, so I was going through the swatch book like a dress catalog or something. It's very you, I feel very very spoilt really when it comes to things like that. And there were a couple. One was a little browner. This one was greener. Another one was more grey. And so I picked this one and. Looking at the picture and looking at the colours on it, I am absolutely thrilled. So this this is the one he's – I've got them because um, there's four of them and they're all done on the same colour. So I've got them all cut and surged to size. I'm a, go, As soon as this model's finished – I keep pointing because it's sitting right there – I'm going to start doing that. Um, I don't, and I love it because there's some specialty stitches in there. Kathy talks all about it on her floss tube. It's just, And I was also waiting for the pearl – number 12, 642 to arrive, which I picked up from the Cruel Goblin yesterday. So I'm, I'm just going to put those on the floss cards. Bren dyed me this piece in all his spare time. This, yeah, this, we, we, do we, we don't even have a name for it yes, yet. Yes, it has a name. I just, oh, you've got a name, but you don't want to say what it is. No. Okay, I don't even know what the name of it is. It's written in the book. I didn't look at the book. I just looked at the swatch. Oh, okay. I just looked at the colour. Was it in there, was it? It's written on the bottom. You named it. Did I? yeah. Oh, okay. I do most of the naming, just, just FYI. Yeah, so anyway, I think that, that colour will work really well um, and I think that will be a good one to add to our collection one day. And no, I'm assuming you don't know when that will be released. No. But it will be eventually. But in the, in the meantime, I can uh, stitch my four seasons on that. So I want to get that done before Kathy releases the uh, – the first season is obviously called Spring Folk, so I'm assuming the next one will be Summer. I think who knows. So that will that's in my plans. Teresa Kogut's mystery, her two year mystery stitch long. I want to catch up on that. I want to. I'm starting Serenity on my birthday with Akshay, and I want to start that. I really, really want to keep up with the Deadly Aquarium. That's something you might like to do. I don't know. Is that you don't have I've time, got... do you? My thing is I don't like getting behind on those sort of things. The frame is out. I want to get the frame stitched, but I do. I have to get this model finished first. So I've already got two things I'm restarting. Restarting. <sighs> oh, that's true. So they're my plans. So hopefully we'll – oh, so before we go, though, I will just quickly duck and get um, our the models that we do have here from market to show you. Okay, so we had – what did we have? Seven new releases at market. Now one of them was our Ann Harper pin drum and little pin and little uh, uh, pin cushion accessories. Now we left that at keepsakes. That's one of the models, and as well as we, I think we left about four or five models with them of our previous releases. Yes. So the, if you're at keepsakes, you can pop in and and have a look at those. So that's the pin drum and accessories, and the they come at night and Queen of the Night, which was. The next in my insect series, which was the, which is the, like the wreath of insects and the little queen, was a lunar moth, and it was um, lovely bright green stitched on black. That's actually going to be at uh, Garon Stitchery. That's there now for their opening. So we'll put pictures of those we'll up We'll put here. pictures of those up. I was trying to save Brent in the editing, but because I had to go and get the pictures, he has to edit anyway. So, okay. So the next one, what have we got there? We had an exclusive for Yarn Tree. Yarn Tree, who put on market um this is called Wilhelmina. every year they ask some designers if they can or designers if they can to do an exclusive that's because they're also a distributor so for three months three or four months they get the exclusivity for this um so shops can only order this from yarn tree and this is called Wilhelmina, and she's a little rabbit all stitched in dmc this next one that's an original design next one they're all original designs actually this one is called dreaming of daisies this is stitched with a colour and cotton pack, which you can get from colour and cotton. Um, shops can also order these packs from colour and cotton. Um, this one was stitched by, oh, uh, that Wilhelmina was stitched by my friend Linda. This was model stitched by our friend Akshay, beautifully I might add. So that's Dreaming of Daisies on Saltbush. 
This was our market exclusive, and this is probably one of my favourite designs I've done so far. This one, this is also on Saltbush, and it's kind of a companion piece to Dreaming of Daisies. This one's called Where There Are Bees, There Are Flowers. Uh, the shops that were at market have these designs. We are now about to send them to our distributors as well for the shops who didn't attend market. We like to have a little bit of a, a gap between market to, for, the, for the shops that attended. So these will be winging their way to Hoffman and Yarntree for shops to order in that didn't attend market in the next probably two weeks. So that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that one, though, will only be available. That was our market exclusive. That one will only be available to the shops that attended market. A lot of shops bought it, um, but they can also reorder it because they attended market. It'll be available as a general release in probably in about months. another two months. And last but not least, this is the sampler. I took components of a sampler that we own, just a couple of things, and then I just created the rest. So this one is called Anne Harper, and she's a big girl. And just um, fit in the bag. Just fit. <laughs> it just fit in our suitcase. That's right. Just um, the the molding that I chose was a little was about a centimeter wider than I. You picked the wrong one. I well, it, it was the same molding, but the width was wider. I meant to get the profile that was slightly thinner. Same design, same molding, but this one was seven and a half centimeters. I meant to get the one that was five to fit in our suitcase. I'm glad now that I got the wider one because I think it suits it better. But yeah, it was a bit of a squeeze for the so. So that's Anne Harper, and that was probably our best seller at market, I think. And I was really pleased because I'm doing more and more of my own designs or adaptations where I where I bring components of samplers that we've bought that I don't want to do the whole reproduction of, and then I just create a sampler around them. So that's what I'm doing more of. What's up, baby? You're looking for everything else? Just make sure we've got everything. I wanted this to be about an hour, and in the end it's, I don't two. know. It's two. Well, there you go. <laughs> we're, we're back to form, baby. We're, is it two? I think it's almost two. Oh, but dear. I've got to cut some of it out. you got to so. cut some out. So we'll come in under the two. But you know us. It wouldn't be a video for us if it was not close to two hours. We are a little bit all over the place. Um, just so you know, things that we've got coming up um, in the next – we've got a very busy year. We've got our uh, the Stitches Merchant Retreat at the end of May. Brent and I are then going as passengers on the Stitches Escape Cruise to Great Britain. A lot of our designer friends just happen to be – on that cruise as well. Vicky Jennett from Needlework Press is the designer. These are really pretty, these Aren't pins. they gorgeous pins? I know. Very so clever. Mm. Um, Take them away because I'll keep playing with them. I know you will. And you'll break my cloche thing. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're, we're, going to be, we're going to be on that for about 12 days doing the British Isles, at least from Amsterdam. We are then, because it's a long way for us to go, we're going to take about two weeks um, hire a car and just drive around Europe, which will be really lovely. And um, hopefully, we're going to go visit Zweigart. Zweigart, we go, we're going to go. To, yep. Hopefully, we will it'll, it'll time out right that we can still yeah, do that. Well, they've asked us to come and yeah. have a tour of their factory, so that's probably number one on our priority list, really, to go and go and visit them. So that'll be wonderful. And um, so that's it's hard to be. It's actually it, it's been like eighteen months coming, so it feels weird we're now getting a countdown 60 days. 60 days or something we've got so much to do before we leave we've got so many shop orders to get out i can't even tell you i'm, I'm kind of can't even i've got that model to finish for the retreat we're teaching at the week before we leave um so we get back from that we're not home very long we're home, well, we'll we'll be home to ship out those samp those um, sampler boxes with our our box in august We'll then be, once they're all shipped out, we'll be jumping on a plane and going to Arizona where we're teaching at um, summer school at the attic. So honoured to be asked to teach there. That um, that project is about to start being stitched. Uh, and then we get back from that and we head back over to the States in September for, for the Garon Stitchery Retreat, which we're attending. And looks like we might be going to meet up with our friend Liz there. So that's going to be a hoot in Montgomery, Alabama. Again, we're only over there for about a week and a half. We've got to be very... Um, only you know, a week we're there for. We, yeah, a week and a bit, I think. Seven days, eight days, something like that. Because we've got we've got a friends... Week, a week is seven days. Oh, thanks, baby. I'm <laughs> Shut up, Brendan. I'm tired. I'm tired and I've been sick. 
Um, yeah, so, but we're very cognizant of the fact that Marg and Jim are mining the dogs a lot this year. So right, whereas we would normally have gone to Alabama and stayed for a few weeks, we'll just stay for a week and come home. Because then we've got to go down, we don't have to, we are going down to Tasmania to a stitch in time because we're teaching at their Halloween retreat at the end of October. And again, we're having about seven days down there. So we'll have the retreat for three days and a couple of, and I think two days beforehand and about four days afterwards before we come home. And then it's going to be Christmas. So um, it's just the, the year is crazy. And already we've got to get rid, then we've got the Alaskan cruise, the stitches escapes alaskan cruise we're teaching on september. in september next, next year. year that went on sale wow that was amazing that went on sale about a month ago i think it sold out in like an hour or something crazy i, I yeah. think jean jean farish puts that on in her team um i think they were shocked that you know it it well thank you thank you very much to everyone who supported jean and her wonderful stitches and us and um, there's another designer on there, a needlework designer as well. Um, we were just thrilled that everyone's coming. We can't wait to meet everyone. Uh, I'm already starting thinking about the design for that. Brendan's teaching a class and I'm teaching a class. There'll be two separate classes. So that's going to be fun. We get to tick a very hard to get to um, state off our, our US map. So Ticking off those 50 states, we didn't know how we were ever going to do Alaska. Plus we get to go to Canada as well. And we get to go to Canada, yeah, because it leaves from Vancouver and we've never been to Canada. So we're through it. We'll have about a week or so driving around Canada before we get on the boat. And then we get back and then we're going to England um, for the uh, Mrs. Mrs. Parkman's Academy, Academy of Needlework. Needlework in the October. So we were originally going to go over in November for our 30th wedding anniversary. And then when Nicola told us about the retreat at market, we thought, yeah, let's go. And so we're going to kind of have a bit of an anniversary trip and the fabulous retreat in October instead. So we're going to spend two weeks driving around um, England after that's over. And a lot of our friends are going and they're also traveling around England. So we're, we're hoping to like pop into pubs as we cross paths on the way around England because as stunning a country as England is, it's not overly big so compared to the United States or Australia and stuff. So we're hoping to catch up with friends as we all crisscross uh, the United Kingdom. So that's next year. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a busy time. We've got a lot happening, but it's, we're just thrilled to have so many lovely things happening for us. So And we appreciate all the support you all have. We're trying – Bren's working around the clock to get as much fabric out as we can – there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of yards winging their way all the time, especially to uh, probably the United States buys most of our linen shops in the United States. Some people contact us sometimes too, don't they? And they sort of say, look, I can't get your linen anywhere. It's available in a lot of shops. You, we've got a stockist list on our website. Just ring around. I think sometimes people just ring their local and their local shop might not have it. But honestly, we are set, sending thousands of yards out every every few months. So... Oh, we, we, we send over 1,200 yards a month. 1,200 yards a month. So, you know, that's a lot of linen. So there are a lot of shops. And if, if your local shop doesn't have it, please contact them. We have had a bit of a long waiting time because, turnaround time, because I had all the problems last year with my knee, including my knee replacement. But we're catching up now. Now that we've got market orders all done, Brent's priority now is pretty much catching up as much as we can. We'd like to get about two or three months out, which is the most we could ever be, I think. And, um, we're still a way off that. Yet. We're still a way off yet because we're catching up, but we're getting there. It's um, it's a lot of linen to go out. So, and then we've got different shops on standing orders. So there's a lot, of, and it's not just big shops that's getting our linen. It's small shops. It's all sorts of shops. So just look at our stockers list and ring around. And if they don't have it, just ask them and they can order it in. So we're doing our best to get it to as many shops as we can, aren't we, Bob? So. Yeah. But, you know, I think sometimes people think that we have a whole team of people. It's just Brendan and I. That's it. We're cutting. We're searching, dyeing. We're ironing. We're packing. And we're designing. And we're doing a Fabric of the Month club. And we're, it's just, you know, it's a lot. But we, we but we love it and we wouldn't want to do anything else. But, um, but yeah, so that's just something that's come up just a bit recently. That's all. So what else, Brendan? Is that about it? That's about it, I think. And I'm not going to say when we're doing our next floss tube, but we are going to try to get back on a regular thing. It won't be four months. Um, we will try to get back to a regular regular routine. 
because we do enjoy doing it. So, yeah. So, everyone have a lovely weekend. Brent's going to edit this this evening, so hopefully it'll be up by tomorrow. Well, there's not much of this evening left. Well, there's not much of it now. It's been a long day. We have literally been talking to a camera since 10 o'clock this morning, and it's now 6.30 at night. So We're about to run out of batteries. And we're about to run out of batteries, so that's it. So, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll hopefully see you in a couple of weeks. Bye. Bye. You're not going on with mum. You can stay here with me or you can go. You want to come to mummy, darling? Of course she does. Come on, Muffin. Oh, who loves mummy? Who loves mummy? Yes, my darling girl. What do you put mum got over there? It's more the point that you can smell. What's mummy got over here that the peaches want? She just loves her mother. No, mm. She wants something. Look, she can smell something she wants. Why wouldn't it be because she loves me? Because she doesn't. She loves me more. She does not. She's my girl. Oh, darling. I kiss daddy too. Are you ready? Are we getting ready to go? Come on, Peach. You've got to do the introduction. <laughs> What's up, little Lil? Are you missing out, darling? You missing out? Come on. Let's go. <laughs> here she comes. No, she Look, won't. Peaches is up here, Lily. Look, Lily. <gasps> Look, Lily. Lily. Peaches is up here. Mummy's cuddling peaches. Oh, Daddy's going to kiss peaches. My beautiful girl. She said, I can't have this. I can't have it. Oh, my darling. Hi. Hi. Hello, my darling girl. You ready? Hang on. Peach, put your legs down. Peaches. Oh, my God. Peach. Come back here. Peaches, come here. Come here. No, come here. Okay. Yeah, you take the oil. Oh, that's not a good idea. How did she Peach? jump from... I don't know. Oh, she went and took the stick. Oh, she beat you, Lil. She got you, Lil. I'm not real happy about her jumping off that table just quietly. Anyway, that was nearly, oh. a, nearly a vet visit. Okay, 